I died, who cares? Now I have the opportunity to reach beyond the gods, of destruction, yes. Due to the bad luck of dying, to the good luck of dying at the right moment, to be deceived by a god almost on top of all realities and know how to bargain with him? I was able to reincarnate in the body of the legendary Super Scion Broly. However, unlike him, I will take the reins of my destiny. In addition, this time, he doesn't have only anger and muscles. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Omni Sensei. Welcome to, What If I Was Reborn as Multiversal Broly? The Legendary Super Scion. Part 1. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Also, remember to check out the original story, link in the description. Without further ado, let's get into it. Welcome number 999,999,999 of the promotion 8789,999,999 of the promotion 73 762 937 494 673 921 79 374 947 893 you could say that today is the luckiest day of all your existence said a strange man with a silver beard and golden eyes until he was interrupted very interesting what you are telling me but who the hell are you what are you doing in my house what has happened to the decoration of my house in addition why am i dressed i remember clearly that i went to sleep naked said our new beloved mc the man with the silver beard and golden eyes hit himself with his face and said, Why do I always have to deal with idiots? Anyway, I'd better explain it to you slowly. 1. I am the god in charge of the regulation of reincarnation, even if it does not seem like it, I only have 6 trillion years left to retire. I look forward to that day. 2. We aren't at home, which answers your third question 3. You're dressed because they don't pay me enough to have to endure seeing naked men satisfied with my answer. He said, quite irritated. Our dear MC quite shocked asked again, does that mean I'm dead? Did I have a heart attack while I was sleeping? The god of reincarnation with some astonishment said, it seems you were not as stupid as I thought, you have understood the situation perfectly. You died because of a heart attack, and considering what you ate and the little exercise you did, it's strange that you have passed the age of 15 years, ha ha ha, this guy is a level 99 bastard. Damn it, for once I die, and I miss it, I will present myself once again. I am Abalon the current god in charge of the regulation of reincarnation of all existing realities. Every era, when the person number 999,999,999 dies, the rules stipulate that the lucky one can reincarnate with his memories intact in another of the existing realities with certain advantages, depending on the karmic points that have accumulated all your lives the last 999,999,999 years, and you are the lucky one inch said Abalon, mmm, luck, the only way I could win something like this, with those points you can buy skills, objects or knowledge of all existing realities, do you? Understand what I'm telling you? Said Abalon again. I think I understand the concept, but, why do you take the trouble to do this? By all realities, do you mean all realities? Even fiction like anime or video games? Asked RMC once again. Yes, by all the realities I was referring to all the realities Abalon answered quite stressed. Come on, don't mess with me, this is surreal. Are you telling me that not only can I acquire fictional powers, but I can also travel to a world of fiction? This is illogical, I'm from the real world, this is impossible said our MC, trying to reason everything that he was telling. Real world? Do you call your universe real world? You should know, that you are only one more data of a universe created by the simulation of a computer, which is being simulated by another computer. If your pathetic universe full of programming flaws such as black holes or that almost everything tastes like chicken, then what is my universe? The joke one. Abalon said in an extremely sarcastic way, don't mess with me. That theory was true? Exclaimed our traumatized protagonist, who had realized that he was not much more than a sim. Yes, it was true. My job is to manage reincarnation in all realities, which is no small task, so let's get down to business. 
Every living being can be a creator of realities if those realities have enough acceptance and consistency, and I take care that those creators of realities are recycled correctly, and you have a unique opportunity in each er, so let's stop chatting. I don't have all the day said Abalon quite annoyed. Our MC quite angry with the attitude of Abalon said even though you are such a powerful god you sound like an official tired of life. If you are so powerful, why are you doing this? Above all, why do you choose someone to reincarnate with his memories intact? Abalon, really pissed with our MC, said do you think that if I could, I would do this job? Do you think I do it for pleasure? Do you think that if I were rich, I would be here talking to you? And I don't know why this is done, it's a damn tradition of a long time ago, I've only been working here for 333,333 eras okay, okay. I got it, tell me, how many points I have, how I can spend them and what realities I can choose said our MC, who wanted to avoid arguing with that irritated god. I'm sorry, but the option to choose the reality that you want costs points and is a very expensive option. Let's see. Oh my god. 83,973 points. Abalon said extremely surprised. What is happening? Is it a huge amount, right? Asked our MC, who was bouncing with joy. No, it's a freaking misery. Ha ha ha. Abalon laughed at the bad luck of our MC, eh? Said our dejected MC, I have never seen someone with so few points, perhaps all your previous incarnations were lazy bears or something? It is impossible that someone has done so little, I doubt you can buy something extremely decisive, in short I'm happy for you, said Abalon trying to contain his laughter without success. Son of a bitch. Well, fewer gives a stone, at least I will keep my memories, our MC began to inspect the tablet that Abalon had lent him. In that tablet were put all kinds of skills, bloodlines, and all kinds of existing knowledge. Our protagonist, being an otaku, noticed especially those related to anime and manga, and immediately realized that Abalon was right. 83,973 points was a pittance. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Made in Heaven. 999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
I have to meditate this conscientiously, while Atomsk was still thinking of a good combination, Abalon watched television. Come on, I don't have all day said Abalon. Our MC with a malevolent laugh said I have already decided, I put all my points in 6 lucky chain power break. Abalon surprised by what he had said exclaimed what? Are you crazy? Nobody has overcome this challenge correctly, and the few who almost succeeded almost ended up with some shitty skills ha ha ha, yes, I do not doubt it is quite complicated to choose, but, very surely those who failed were not from my computer simulated universe, and they weren't Jojo fans. The chain is the following, 1. Kars Ultimate Life Form Bloodline, 1 Life, 2. Gold Experience Requiem, 1 Life, 2 Reality, 3. The World Over Heaven, 2 Reality, 3 Time, 4. Made in Heaven, 3 Time, 4 Gravity, 5. Tusk, 4 Gravity, 5 Space, 6. Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, 5 Space, Kars Ultimate Life Form Bloodline, Life Enhanced Intelligence, Superhuman Senses, Superhuman Strength, regeneration, immortality, evolution and a body manipulation that can manipulate his entire body on a cellular level to gain the traits of any life form, such as bird-like wings that enable him to fly. He can even detach parts of himself and transform them into separate organisms that act independently of himself. Life, Gold Experience Requiem, One Life, Two Reality The Evolved Stand of Giorno Giovanna, has two notable skills. Life Giver, converts inorganic objects into living organisms, be it an animal or a plant. Life, return to zero, turn any of its opponent's attacks and willpower back to the state of zero, completely nullifying them and preventing them from becoming real. Hence, it is virtually invincible, as all supposed actions created by an opponent would have been reset, back to point zero. Reality, the world over heaven, two reality, three time is the stand of heaven ascension dio, an evolved variation of the world and considered by Dio to be the ultimate stand, has two notable skills. Reality overwrite, this power can be used to rewrite the existence of anything he wants, steal slash absorb souls and use them as slaves, heal himself, resurrect the dead and completely negate almost any defense that the series has to offer, reality, time stop, can stop the flow of time without limit, time, made in heaven, three time, for gravity is a stand belonging to Enrico Pucci, this stand is the final metamorphosis in a chain following White Snake and Sea Moon, time acceleration, dramatically speed. Up the flow of time as time continues to travel, the universe will hit a vanishing point, and a new universe will be created, where everything repeats itself, according to fate every surviving organism is brought into the new world, positioned where they should be, according to a date chosen by the user, time, gravity manipulation, can manipulate the gravity in all the universe, gravity, tusk, for gravity. 5 space is the stand of Johnny Joestar, and have 4 acts a stand embodies the infinite. Energy and rotation of the super spin that defies the laws of gravity, gravity, can create portals and spaces, space, and do infinite damage with his rotation. If ACT4 touches someone, it imbues the target with an infinite spinning motion. Not only does part of the body separate to spin, everything down to individual cells spin on themselves, greatly distorting the shape of the victim. Eventually, the targets are disintegrated by the rotation Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, 5 Space is the stand of the USA President Funny Valentine. Dimension Hop, allows its user to visit parallel world slash dimensions and interact with them. No two versions of the same person or thing can coexist in the same dimension, one of them will have to go back into their own. If not, and if they get too close to one another, both will crumble, splitting into menger sponges before obliteration. This rule does not apply to the user himself if the user is injured, he can hop into another dimension and transfer his D4C to this world's user. He acquires the memory of the previous user and becomes the root user by virtue of now possessing the stand. Furthermore, he can summon any number of alternate selves to a target dimension in order to outnumber his opponents. Upon hearing the choice and explanation of our MC, Abalon panicked, SHIT, damn Abalon is alarmed, and with good reason, since he had fulfilled all the requirements. At the same time with less than 100,000 points he had achieved an almost perfect immortal body, the ability to give life and deny reality, the ability to overwrite reality and stop time, the ability to destroy the universe, the ability to make an infinite damage and teleporting in an endless number of parallel dimensions and giving he another form of immortality. Adding the physical capacity of all the stands and that bloodline. No no I cannot allow this. If my superiors find out about this, my retirement is over, I have to somehow prevent this transaction from being carried out. Damn. Who was the bastard who put an option like that? In addition, how can a work of fiction in principle not so overpowered as Jojo, has such unlikely abilities? Oh, God. 
If he takes all these skills for so little, they will deduce it from my salary, yes, you said it correctly, but you still have to roll the dice, let's see what the result is said Abalon, trying to keep calm. Oh right, oh what a spec, please, let it be a 6 inch said our MC while holding the dice. Please take out a 1, I could manage a 2, a 3 would mess me too, but if it's a 4 or higher, goodbye retirement, our MC threw the dice in the air and the result was 6 our MC for the euphoria ripped off the shirt and got down on his knees to scream with joy Cthie. Meanwhile, Abalon internally cried blood, no. Sorry, but you cannot keep these skills. Said Abalon quite nervous, why not? I have said everything perfectly. Why this outrage? Asked our MC pissed off. Quick Abalon, tell a lie, fast, I am not allowed to leave someone in a reality with the power to destroy all realities at will, and with these powers you would be able to do that and more, not only would you be killed at the moment of reincarnation, but also me Abalon said, inventing everything, really? Our MC said, completely disappointed, frustrated, scared, and with serious doubts about the truthfulness of that official, God's words. Seriously, it's for the good of both, choose another power please said Abalon, who believed that he had already achieved his goal, save his pension and what do you expect me to buy with a miserable 83,973? You just screwed up the illusion of my life and cancelled the transaction, give me more points as compensation. Demanded our MC giving a punch on the table I'm sorry but I cannot give extra points to anyone, it's against the rules said Abalon, who was telling the truth. Our MC, extremely furious, said, well, you know what? Crap, I don't care if I die or if you die, I'll keep the powers, it's very likely that thanks to them, I can survive the wrath of your superiors. I could even threaten to restart a couple of universes, or even I could negotiate, no? Shit. N-O-O? I have no other choice, I must negotiate with this son of A. I will have to spend some of my savings, and oh, do not do it, you do not know what they are capable of. If they are able to give you those powers, they are also capable of taking them away, lies. Look, we can do one thing. I cannot give you points, but as compensation I can give you some similar bonuses, what do you say? Abalon said, radically changing his tone of voice to a friendlier one. Our MC, who seemed to have convinced him, said mmmm. I don't know, what bonuses would you let me choose? Shit, I said bonuses and no bonus. I'll have to play along if I want him not to ask unnecessary questions, like for asking for the book of rules, yes, bonuses, at first you said you wanted to choose the reality in which you are going to reincarnate, that if I give you the option to reincarnate in the place you want and in the person you want? Abalon said trying to please our MC it seems fine, but, even so it would still be impossible to buy anything useful and also as I read that option is a single bonus, if only is a bonus. What's the meaning of the word bonuses said our MC trying to negotiate a better reward, damn it. It's a hard nut to crack. At least it seems that he has rejected the possibility of taking those skills, what do you think if I give you a discount option of several multipliers? With that you will be able to buy something useful Abalon said with cold sweat on his forehead, praying to himself that this would not go very expensive. MMM, it seems good to me, what if we multiply the base of that discount by my dice result? We can multiply it by 6. I think it's fair, right? Our MC said inquisitively. This, I think we should. Abalon said trying to change his mind to our MC, but he was interrupted if you are not happy I prefer to risk our lives, I'm sorry, I'll die but you too, choose said our MC, playing his last card. Crap, this is going to cost me dearly however, at this point it does not matter, it's better than nothing, it's okay. I give you an hour to think about it Abalon said, trying to hide how nervous he was, I have to put an end to this quickly. I cannot allow him to stay longer in case he changes his mind, or my bosses find out what I'm doing, one question. Can I reincarnate in whomever I want in any fictional reality? Asked our MC that's right, but there are limitations, in the case of reincarnating in a fantasy universe, you can only choose a person who was born in the same year that the protagonist was born or later. Supposing that you choose the Naruto universe, for example you cannot reincarnate neither in Madara Uchiha nor Hagoromo, but you can reincarnate as Naruto or as Sasuke, to give an example reported Abalon to our MC I understand. Our MC said while observing the discounts that Abalon had proposed and observed the different rewards. Perfect, with this I am sure that I will be able to take advantage of my second life. I think I have already decided on the person in which I will reincarnate. Now it's time to see what I can add to make it more perfect. And to ensure its proper survival and development. Reality discount, 300% discount x 3 million elemental property discount, 300% x 1 500 discount by author. 300% x 5 million discount per character, 
300% x 2 million discount per organization 300% x 2 million 500,000 etc. Our MC was still observing the options that were in the tablet, why the Nan is worth only 306,000 and nevertheless, Nan skills like the Guanin Bodhisattva of Isaac Netero are worth 88,930,000 or the chains of Karapika are worth 14,040,000. Asked our MC because the Nan as well as the Hockey and other powers of this type that are evolutional are worth little if you only buy the fundamentals to be able to use it, but if you buy a skill Nan in particular, this is accompanied by a mastery of that Nan or the Hockey of a specific weighing, then the price is much higher answered Abalon. Okay, the Juggin will make me run out of energy at birth? Asked the MC once again. No, it will be with you and born and tied to your genetic code, it will not be done by surgery so you will not need to absorb your energy to implant it, Abalon replied. Perfect, and the Greed Island cards are applicable to all people as if they were players? The MC asked once more. Yes, but if they are for single use you can only use it once, Abalon replied. Perfect, I've already decided. I will apply the discount by author x 300%, that according to what we have agreed will be for 1800%. Damn son of a bitch. He has chosen the most expensive one, author Yoshihiro Togashi, and what I choose is, Yu Yu Hakusho, Juggin 1,080,000, 60,000, Hunter x Hunter, Nen 306,000, 17,000, Hunter x Hunter, choose Nature Nen, Specialization 54,000, 3,000, Hunter x Hunter, Shinjin Ryu Training Method 58,500, 3,250, Hunter x Hunter, Magnetic Force, G.I Card, 8,100, 450. Hunter x Hunter, Maluki Zoldic Hacker, Programmer and Inventing Skills 3600, 200. Hunter x Hunter, Menchi Culinary Skills, 1080, 60. With this, I would be missing 13 points, but I don't know what to spend them on. Curious choice, these 13 points I can include them in your Nen ability, it will not improve much but better than nothing, said Abalon. Okay, it's not a bad idea. As for the reality and character in which I want to reincarnate. It will be the universe of Dragon Ball, and the character Broly. However, I have a question. Will be the Broly of the old movies created randomly by Toei Animation, or will be the Broly of Akira Toriyama's new canon movie? It's a very interesting question. So, why don't you discover it for yourself and leave me alone? Abalon said while pressing a button. After pressing that button, a trapdoor was opened at the feet of our MC, which said a final word of farewell to that kindly god. Bastard. Son of a bitch. Prick. I've finally gotten rid of that bastard. Damn it, he's made me lose millions, although it's still better than losing billions. I will not have the golden retirement that I always dreamed, but at least I'll have a silver one. I hope never to see him again said Abalon while consulting his bank account. I can barely move, I'm in a fetal position, in a small space and I have a tube connected to my navel. It seems I'm still a fetus, Broly raised his hand as he touched his forehead, and he could sense that there was something, there was an extra eye. Perfect, ha 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 great, honestly, with the points and possibilities I had and what I got. I think this is the best choice I could make ha 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 I would like to have all those stands but. I don't regret having chosen this reality, this body and these powers. If everything proceeds as I have planned. Ha 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 why, of all the universes, our protagonist chose the universe of Dragon Ball? There are several reasons why I have chosen the Dragon Ball universe nostalgia, that is the anime that made me love the anime, that I know all the history so I can anticipate all the events, that can allow me to be extremely powerful. Above all, the Dragon Balls. Crap, with them, I can do practically everything I want, the power to choose to come to this universe is much better than having 9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
in both the concept of legendary super scion changes a bit and the story too. However, it doesn't matter, I'm still the being with the most potential in the universe, and I've come prepared for both cases Jijage, what did he mean he was prepared for both cases? Simple, he was referring to the skills he had bought, Yoshihiro Togashi created two great shonen, Yu Yu Hakusho, Hunter x Hunter, and it so happens that these two series have several things that are perfect for Broly. I wanted to buy the sacred energy of Shinobu Sensui. A special type of energy that is said to be the purest and most powerful, which is the highest level of power in the world of Yu Yu Hakusho, but is very expensive. I also wanted the power absorption of Sadao Makihara, also known as Gourmet, which allows you to devour people and gain their powers and abilities. But it would have left me without point, and not only is it imperfect, since Big Taguro possess him when he ate him. I would also have to eat that person. Badge. That's sinister and disgusting. Therefore, I decided to focus on my main goal. The Juggin of High the Juggin is an additional eye that can be implanted that allows its user to amass various capabilities. Telepathy, allows the user to communicate mentally with others. Telekinesis, limited ability to move objects with his mind. Mind control, the Juggin, allows the user mind control over beings with low power. It also allows him to cast illusions, transform people into his mind slaves, create false memories and erase them too. Heightened senses, all senses when the wearer has the Juggin, increased to a supernatural level, he could realize a minimum displacement of the opponent muscles, and thus predict that it would move to attack. This ability can see minimal movements, and predict the attacks of opponents even before they are executed. Remote viewing, the main skill of Juggin, is to enable the user to look vast distances, and can locate an object the size of a marble, miles away, regardless of location perfectly. It can see into houses, forests, and even caves with exact precision. This ability also allows the sharpening of his other senses. These are incredible skills, but the best of Juggin is, mind resistance, the eye also gives the user complete domination and control of his own mind and able to resist powerful mental attacks energy manipulation, the Juggin also allows the user to perfectly understand his own energy. With Juggin, mastering techniques can be done several times faster than normal. With the Juggin I will be able to solve the two great problems of the legendary Super Scion, his berserker mental state and the uncontrollable energy that increases exponentially every second. I will also be able to find the Dragon Balls without the need for radar and of course to possess extremely useful mental abilities and perfect senses for a warrior. In addition, it will make it easier for me to understand energy-based techniques, which are almost all in Dragon Ball, ahahaha. Also, it's cool as hell, why did he choose the Hunter x Hunter Nen? The Nan it is a technique that allows a living being to use and manipulate their own life energy, known as Aura. The Nan is probably the most versatile, interesting, well-built and incredible concept of power in the whole world of fiction it allows its user to do practically anything and improve all his physical, psychic and sensory abilities in addition, it allows you to create your own ability depending on what your nature is. Can there be something cooler than this? In addition, my intuition tells me that the combination of the Nan and the key of the world of Dragon Ball can be something incredible. Moreover, the fact that it was so cheap has solved my life, why have he spent 3000 points on choosing his nature as a specialization? There are six types of aura, every individual is born having one of these six different aura types. Upon learning one's own aura type, a student of Nan can set about learning to apply the technique in a unique way that suits their personality, which can develop into a unique skill called Hatsu. There are numerical approximations to indicate just exactly how efficient one would be at using aura abilities that one is not born into. Starting at one's own aura type, one has the potential to be 100% efficient at using abilities based in that category alone. Then as if it were a hexagon, one has the potential to be 80% efficient at using aura types adjacent to one's primary type, 40% efficient at the opposite or farthest category, and 60% efficient in the two remaining categories. Specialization is typically unusable for non-specialists because it is impossible to partially use, one either can or cannot use specialist abilities. However, it is possible to turn into a specialist later in life, with conjurers and manipulators having the highest chance of succeeding there are six aura types, enhancement, is the ability to use aura to increase the natural abilities of an object or one's own body. Therefore, enhancers are able to greatly increase their physical attack and defense and are best suited for melee combat. Proficient enhancers who also take good care of their body can make it more durable than tanks and generate the force of a small missile with one blow. Enhancement is the most balanced category, allowing users to spread themselves evenly between offense and defense and become very powerful using only simple abilities transmuters, a person can change the properties of their aura to mimic something else. 
or only specific attributes. Altering the shape of one's aura falls in this nen category too. Constructs created via transmutation are pure aura, therefore they are invisible to individuals incapable of using nen. Emitters, the user has an easier time separating their aura from their body. Aura usually decreases in intensity very quickly when it leaves the source body, but adept emitters can separate their aura from their body for long periods of time, over long distances, and still be able to maintain it and its functions. Conjurers, conjuration is I the ability to create a physical, independent, material object out of one's aura, however, users of this category can also create laws and principles and affix them to a specific area. However, even if one were to completely master this nan type, there would still be objects they could not materialize, such as swords that can cut anything, as they go beyond human capacity. Conjured objects can in fact possess special abilities. Conjuration is the only way in which nan can create things that ordinary people, unaware of nan, can see and touch, unless they are hidden from the senses within. Manipulators, manipulators allow the user to control living or non-living things, including aura constructs. The degree of control is, for the most part, determined by a condition that may or may not put the manipulator at a risk or a disadvantage, the higher the difficulty for the condition to be achieved, the better the degree of control. Specialists, could be broadly defined as anything that does not belong in any of the other five categories, making it the vagus nan type, can dominate the six aura nature and can do everything with this explanation, surely the nature that best combines with Broly is enhancement, but I do not want to go that way. If something has characterized Dragon Ball is its simplicity in its way of fighting, I want to be different in this aspect, and specialization would be the perfect category for this. In addition, I already have though a skill T that will perfectly fit my needs and plans he he he, why was, 3250 spent on the Shinjin Ryu training method. Shinjin Ryu is the dojo founded by the 12th chairman of the Hunter Association, the freaking Isaac Netero, the same training method that Biscuit used to train Killua and Gon N Greed Island Saga. The main peculiarity of Shinjin Ryu is that practitioners, together with hand-to-hand -hand combat techniques and probably etiquette, also learn to control their aura. This will not only help me learn to control my nan, but also how to fight correctly. It's something that will help me a lot when I get to planet Earth to practice their martial arts related to Ki, what about the card Magnetic Force, G.I card, Maluki Zoldic Hacker, Programmer and Inventing Skills, and Menchi Culinary Skills? The other points spent are mainly for my closest plans, and partly for the day-to-day -day magnetic force allows the user to instantly transport it to another person, providing that he have previously met them if the planet Vegeta is destroyed, and I haven't managed to escape in any other way or haven't managed to reach the planet Earth, this single-use card is my last alternative transporting me where Goku is. Maluki Zoldic Hacker, Programmer and Inventing Skills, if the events that occurred on the planet Vegeta are those of Dragon Ball Minus and not those of Toei Animation, could be useful to me to escape with a ship and remove the trackers of Frieza. I also don't want to be the typical Scion muscle head, although I am the most muscular. Finally, Menchi culinary skills. I know of a certain god of destruction that possibly reaches the planet Vegeta. I also know that was he who ordered the destruction of the planet Vegeta because the food was crap. Maybe I can prevent it, or in the case of meeting with him, survive giving him good food, besides who doesn't like to eat well. These were the reasons why Broly bought these skills, objects and knowledge, and decided to reincarnate in this way. I understand the structure of this universe, and of the entire multiverse. I know its entire immensity, I know how insignificant I have been, and how insignificant I am still. I don't plan to feel that way again. Hahaha ha ha, gods? Wait for me Beerus, wait for me Daishinkan, wait for me Zeno. Wait for me Abalon. I will be above all of you. Broly was still in her mother's womb, of which he did not know the name, since she had not yet appeared in the story. Broly was able to understand brief conversations that were taking place outside his comfortable prison. The conversations were in Japanese, of which he did not understand much, but thanks to the great memory that the Juggin had given him he was able to understand the language quickly thanks to that he remembered all the animes with subtitles that he had seen until now. Apart from understanding the language, Broly was organizing all his thoughts. He had bought all the knowledge and scientific skills of Maluki Zoldic, which were not few, as well as Menchi culinary skills. However, what was most occupying his time was to analyze all the teachings of the Shinjin Ryu, focusing mainly on all those related to the Nun. There was a cheaper option in which only the foundations of the Nun were explained, but Broly was also very interested in the martial arts that it contained, and although he could not practice them for now as a fetus, he had them in mind for his plans. Thanks to Juggin, previous knowledge of hardcore otaku and the enormous talent that possessed his body of legendary Super Saiyan. 
Broly was able to understand with the passage of time his new body and the nature of the energy that it contained. I was right. I was right ha 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 ki and nan are the face and the cross of the same coin, both are techniques that allows a living being to use and manipulate their own life energy, also known as aura. Both consist of the same thing but, they take a different path in both mangas it's a power that each person has, and that power unlike Chinese novels is not collected from the outside, cultivating, that energy is present in every living being, but they are not aware that they have it until they train enough to notice it. Except for being so powerful and with such a powerful energy that they are aware of their existence since they are born, as were Maruam, their royal guard of Maruam, the frost demons, or me. Both consist of manipulating life energy, and both manifest as an aura that covers the body. In both cases, that power increase by improving the control of that same aura and improving the capabilities of the body, which is the container of that aura. He allows you to do things very similar to Nan. Both allow strengthening the body through the aura both allow throwing that aura out of the body, as for example the Kamehameha both allow changing the properties of that aura, for example creating heat energy, explosive energy, cutting energy, solid energy, disintegrating energy. Both allow to materialize the aura, like for example Piccolo or Tian Shinhan when they multiplied themselves or multiply parts of their body. Both allow you to manipulate objects through the aura. Such as Frisia's telekinesis both allow you to perform skills through the aura that are difficult to catalog or understand both allow locating presences and the aura of other individuals and hiding their presences. Both are influenced by the personalities and emotions of their users. However, there are obvious differences. While the nan consists of keeping the aura from leaking away from the body and manipulate this aura, the key consists of drawing out the aura of the center of the body, to manipulate it and use it outside the body. While the emission and transmuter's attacks of Nan cannot be seen by those who don't control the Nan. Attacks that would fall within the emission category, such as Goku's Kamehameha or a fire transmutation type attack such as the Thunder Flash of Pikin, can be seen by people who don't manipulate the key. While key allows you to create more destructive, simple techniques and, being the only enhancer of them your own physique, energy, resistance, and life itself. Like the Kaoken or the Shin Kikahu, that can be easily taught to other people the Nan allows creating more strange, mystical and complicated techniques, being linked and enhanced to mental contracts and to the mind, experiences, tastes and life of the user. Like the Skill Hunter or Kurapika Chains. That cannot be taught to other people. That brings me to the following conclusion the Nan is a power governed mainly by the mind, the conscious the key is a power governed mainly by the body, the subconscious the Nan is a method of using energy in a more ethereal and mystical way, whereas Ki is a method of using energy in a more physical and destructive way. That is why the Nan allows you to create such bizarre, strange, evolved, well-developed and powerful abilities in categories such as manipulation, materialization and specialization, the latter being the most ethereal of all and the most difficult to belong, and being also the considered category of the geniuses. While with Ki these skills are hardly used in combat due to their inefficiency, that's why the key allows creating more powerful abilities or to grant more easily better capacities in more tangible and less mystical categories such as enhancement, emission and transmutation. While with the nen those skills despite being strong, and even being the type enhancement, the simplest, the most suitable for combat, the mystical abilities created by weaker fighters are capable of defeating them, something that is very difficult to see in Dragon Ball but easy to see in Hunter x Hunter, the best example is the fight of the novice Karapika versus the experienced and colossal Yuvagen. All thanks to his mystical abilities as a conjurer and specialist and the harsh contracts he had imposed on himself. It is as if the Nan is the Yin method of manipulating vital energy, while the Qi is the Yang method of manipulating vital energy both use the same energy for very similar purposes, although each one stands out above the other in certain aspects. In addition, I have both the Nan of geniuses and the legendary Qi ha ha ha. I'm a monstrous genius, Broly spent the months training inside her mother's womb during that time. He formulated all the possible strategies he could perform in the case of the different possibilities that could occur after his birth, and continued training. Thanks to the similarities he had found between the Nan and the Ki and all the information he had about the Nan, together with the Juggin. Broly was able to understand several fundamentals of manipulation of the Ki, although they paled in comparison to those he had of the Nan. For now it's better don't spend my time with Ki. I notice that although I am making progress and that I would surely master it in a few years, discovering it by myself, it will be better to wait to get to Earth. There I could understand better how to achieve more perfect control in much less time and with less effort. For now, I will focus on the Nan, Broly calmly practiced three of the four fundamentals of the Nan and one of the advanced ones. 
The four fundamentals are namely Ten, Zetsu, Run and Hatsu Ten, this technique allows a Nen user to contain aura by enfolding their body with it. All human beings possess aura, but unbeknownst to most of them, it slowly leaks away. Making aura stay around the body is called Ten. This is the most basic technique. Ten maintains youthful vigor and reduces one's aging, since the energy powering the body no longer leaks away, one can keep the body from breaking down and deter the aging process plus grant a strong defense Zetsu this technique stops the flow of aura from the body completely. It is a technique whereby a user suppresses the Nen formed by using Ten surrounding them and suspends the small natural leakage of aura from their body. Zetsu closes all of the aura nodes so that Nan is fully contained within the body, therefore it can help the user to conceal their presence or recover from fatigue. If Zetsu is executed properly, the user will be hard to detect. However, Zetsu must be used carefully because it leaves the user's body defenseless against the enemy's nun. In Zetsu state, it is very dangerous to even take a weak nun attack, or to come into contact with the enemy's nun. Run. This technique focuses on outputting a larger amount of aura than 10, projecting it outwards explosively. This amplifies the user's physical strength and durability and provides a large pool of aura for any advanced techniques or individual skills they decide to use, albeit at the cost of expending said aura. One can train their Ren to extend its duration and increase the amount of aura at their disposal. It is said it takes one month to prolong one's Ren outside of combat by 10 minutes. If Tan is considered purely defensive, Ren can be regarded as its offensive counterpart, although it also grants the user vastly enhanced defensive abilities. With the right timing, Ten can be used to contain the aura produced with Ren. The other technique of the four fundamentals is the one he decided not to practice, it was dangerous to do something like that now since he was still inside his mother, and because he still did not want to create his Hatsu Hatsu is one's personal expression of Nen. Its qualities are influenced by but not restricted to the Nen user's natural Nen category, one of the six available, which is decided by nature and nurture. Hatsu is used to project one's aura to carry out a certain function, creating a special and unique paranormal ability that is colloquially called Nen ability, Hatsu ability, or simply Hatsu as for the advanced technique he practiced was the Yin. Ayan is an advanced form of Zetsu used to render one's imperceptible aura, effectively concealing it. Unlike Zetsu, however, in does not stop the user's aura flow, instead, it hides it, making it impossible to perceive with any of the five senses or extrasensory perception. Hence, this technique is perfect for launching sneak attacks or laying traps, as it can not only be the user's presence, but also non constructs generated with emission, transmutation, or conjuration. The Ten was the base to practice the rest of the Nen skills, which he had to practice seriously in case they tried to kill him at the time of his birth as he did in the first movie. The Zetsu and In were to hide their hidden potential and not to alarm King Vegeta or the other Scions, or Frieza. The Ren to increase the control and amount of their own energy. This concept of the Nen also helped him to understand better the operation of the key, even though he decided not to practice it, he did not lose sight of it. For weeks, Broly continued to train his Nen in an obsessive way. He noticed that in time his body and mind had become much stronger and vigorous. A thing that scared our hero a bit and caused him to stop practicing Rin for the moment, I do not want my energy to increase too much yet. The problem of having a lot of energy is that it is difficult to control, and my goal now is not to have control problems. I will have time to increase my combat strength in a few years with ease. Especially because I'm the damn legendary super scion, if I lose control of my energy I will not only destroy everything around me, I could also explode, so my main priority is to lay the necessary foundations to have a good control. In addition, I fear that having so much energy in my body will make it difficult to hide. I don't know how the detectors will react to the nun. It is better to be cautious, Broly continued with that routine until one day, contractions began it was time to give birth. The moment of his arrival in the world, I hope it's a cesarean delivery. I'm not very excited about going out where I'm supposed to go out whatever, it's time to hide my energy. Year 737 it was the moment of birth, the most important moment in the life of any living being. But in the case of Broly it was something even more critical. In the Toei animation version, the fact that he was born with 10,000 combat points caused King Vegeta to decide to kill him, and a few days later, Frieza under Beerus orders, destroyed the planet Vegeta. Escaping with his life in a very hasty way. In the Akira Toriyama version he was born with 10,000 combat points, that made King Vegeta banish him to a shit planet, let's say that Akira Toriyama didn't want to make him so bad person, but in this version the planet Vegeta wouldn't be destroyed until after 3 years. Our Broly to avoid either of the two situations, through the Zetsu and in, he decided to hide 99% of his total strength. His first idea was to hide 99 foot 99%, 
leaving his combat strength around 1 to 10 points to ensure his survival, but, he immediately rejected that option. Broly this time would be born with an extra eye on his forehead, so he would call attention anyway, but, how would the Scions treat a deformed child with such a weak fighting force? The Spartans in cases like these killed the children for being a nuisance. He could not risk that either, but he could not show more combat power than Vegeta Jr. Which was 1000 he didn't know how to calculate numerically, but he supposed that his power was several times higher than 10.000, so if he showed a power between 1 and 300 there wouldn't be too much trouble. Bwaj 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 Broly cried to avoid being slapped in the ass. It's a shame we could not save the mother, luckily the child was born without difficulty said a doctor or nurse in the room Broly slowly opened her eyes and despite the bad news of her mother's death, which has never appeared in history, what he saw comforted him. The facilities in which he was born despite having a futuristic environment were not so much as in the Bardock movie, also the doctors who treated him were Scions too, and not that strange alien's bird lizard. MMM interesting, interesting? If my intuition doesn't fail me, I have reincarnated in the Dragon Ball universe of Dragon Ball Minus. Excellent, this was the best possible scenario, a nurse scion held Broly and while measuring his combat power, she saw something that made her lose her temper. Doctor, doctor, fast come and see this said the nurse what happens, his combat power is extraordinary? Said the doctor as he approached Broly with curiosity, oh shit, I should have lowered my combat power even more, his combat power is high, certainly. For 37, a new middle-class warrior, but, that's not important. Lou, look at his forehead said the nurse, uff luckily, it was my forehead, for a moment I thought it was combat power mmm if I have only shown 1% of my power, it means that my current combat power is 43,700. Not bad despite I wanted to control myself ha ha ha, he has a third eye. Leave this child under observation, I think we should warn King Vegeta as soon as possible about this abnormality. Where is his father? Said the doctor, we warned his father a few hours ago, he was halfway to planet Vegeta when he answered, he should arrive in a short time replied the nurse. Well, I'll meet two of the characters that I hate the most about Dragon Ball, Vegeta Jr's father, Senior Vegeta Sr and my father Paragus. Although Dragon Ball Super Broly made them better people. One is an envious idiot and the other simply saw his son as a tool. Both are rabble, while several doctors were still in the delivery room examining Broly, several people arrived. Those people were King Vegeta, Hargurus and several scions of stuffing. I regret your lost Paragus, but you have to look ahead, your son is still alive said King Vegeta thank you very much, your majesty, I will treasure your words however. King Vegeta. Why does someone as important as you have come to see my newborn son? Moreover, why are so many doctors examining him? Has something happened to him too? Paragus said, tilting his head. King Vegeta stroked his beard and replied, a few minutes ago I was alerted that a middle-class scion with 437 combat power was born, which is a joy for the entire scion race, but, I was told that this little one had a peculiarity never seen before. He said as he pointed to Broly's forehead Paragus looked up and saw the eye on his forehead, an eye of a dark color something lighter. Paragus, shocked by what he saw, approached a doctor and asked doctor, is this a bad thing? How is my son? The doctor looked at King Vegeta, seeking his approval to speak. King Vegeta nodded, indicating that he had permission to share the information he had found, he is fine, he doesn't seem to have any problem, we have done some tests on his third eye, and it seems to work perfectly. I would dare to say that he is even able to see better than normal eyes. As we have analyzed his DNA, it is 100% scion, we assume that it must be some kind of mutation. For now, we don't know what that eye means or if there may be complications due to it, so we advise you to stay him in the facilities to analyze it better. Paragus was about to answer, but King Vegeta took a step forward thank you, Dr. Onion, don't worry, Paragus, we will take good care of your son Broly Scions with the talent of your son are very few, so we will not skimp in expenses. You can come to visit whenever you want, obviously Paragus, unable to refuse such offer and kindness on the part of his king, accepted the offer Paragus watched his strange son for a while and marched home with emotional chaos. His wife was dead. The scions normally only mate for pleasure and offspring and although the marriages were monogamous there was usually no love between them, couples like Bardock and Jain were scarce, but Paragus was not like them, so that didn't affect him too much. His son was a middle-class warrior with a good fighting power, so he was proud of, however, the fact that his son had an eye on his forehead disconcerted, worried, and disgusted him. His son had talent, but he was a little monster, different from the rest, this contrast between pride and repudiation was unsettling. 
In addition, the fact that his son has received the attention of King Vegeta made him proud and concerned at the same time. Meanwhile, in the palace of King Vegeta, in the throne room. King Vegeta, as you ordered me I communicated, and I will continue communicating all strange births said Dr. Onion the King Vegeta King sitting on his throne asked tell me. Paragus's son is the legendary Super Scion? Dr. Onion replied, I don't think Majesty, according to the legend of the legendary Super Scion is a being of infinite power. Broly the son of Paragus only has a fighting force of 437 units, far inferior to the fighting power of Prince Vegeta at his birth, the only thing that makes him different is that I, but there is nothing about extra eyes in the legend I think it must be due to a type of mutation that we have not heard so far King Vegeta said, approximately a thousand years ago was the last legendary Super Scion appeared, the legend says that every 1000 years, there is a Scion with infinite power, capable of destroying everything in the universe, and it cannot be too long for another to appear. That is why it is necessary to locate him, it is a danger for all, which must be controlled, exiled or eliminated Dr. Onion, still kneeling, said, as you command your majesty, I will keep you informed of all mysterious births. What we do with the son of Paragus for now? King Vegeta replied, keep him in a separate incubator on the infirmary, carry out the tests you think necessary and check his evolution. As you say, with that combat power I doubt he is the legendary super scion of the legend, but we cannot be completely sure, maybe that legendary being is not born with great power, but it is possible that it increases progressively. Tell Paragus that his son will need to be in the nursing incubator all year to check his development, in the event that he shows signs of being the legendary super scion let me know my first, and I will decide what to do. If not, give him the choice to take him at home in the incubator for the next two years who knows, maybe that I will give us some pleasant surprise, I think so Ray Vegeta, of course I'm going to give pleasant surprises right now, for example. Damn hypocrite and liar. Ja, you worrying about the safety of the universe? You are only afraid that I will dethrone you and you midget son in the future. The Scions are a race in which power counts above all else and the legendary Super Scion. I, is the strongest. For me you can put your shirty throne in your royal ass, it doesn't interest me at all, the palace of King Vegeta and the hospital were located miles away and there were hundreds and hundreds of walls between that distance. However, none of that mattered to the Juggin. Hai was able to locate a little pearl, in all the immensity of the infernal realm and was able to locate her in the abduction of his sister in the human realm, regardless the location, perfectly seeing into houses, forests, and even caves with exact precision. In addition, this ability allows the sharpening of his other senses. Hai could hear a conversation between Yusuke and Yomi, from miles away, in the Ark of the Four Beasts. Ha 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 I'm like Sauron, I am able to hear and see practically everything and through everything. In fact, I'm getting dizzy with so much information I have to learn to focus, or I'll end up crazy, Broly continued to listen to King Vegeta's conversation in case he was preparing an immediate rebellion against Frisia or if the Frisia troops are making suspicious movements in the vicinity. However, he was not able to see anything suspicious. I'm definitely in the Dragon Ball Minus version which is perfect, I still have three years to prepare. Normally the Scions stay three years in incubators of this type, where they are supplied with nutrients directly, to improve the development of the body to make them fit for combat quickly. Little by little I notice how my power is increasing. However, I don't plan to spend the whole three years in this incubator. I have other plans, it had been nine months since Broly's birth. In the corridors of the hospital, people talked. Strange things are happening lately, don't you think? Said nurse I think the same. Things are starting to disappear, not only in the hospital, also in other parts of the city, including military stores said doctor and not only that, some intelligence and technology institutions have detected computer attacks and data theft, but they haven't been able to find who has been said Dr. B. I've heard that infiltration has not only been on the planet Vegeta, some of Frisia's troops said something similar. Said Nurse B. Unbelievable, is one of the Emperor's enemies? Said Nurse A. Some scions who seem to have strange behaviors have been arrested, but they seem to remember nothing at all said Dr. A. Yes, yesterday I had to take care of one of them, they seem to have amnesia. Said Nurse In addition, there were also others who remembered doing things they hadn't done said Dr. B. Is it an enemy infiltration or do ghosts really exist? Said Nurse C. I begin to believe that it is a ghost, many middle and upper class warriors have mentioned lately that they feel as if something is spying on them, but there now was nobody said Nurse B. All this is very sinister said Dr. B. And all this is happening since that child was born said Nurse C. Come on, are you implying that a nine month old baby who has not left his incubator is the cause of all these events? Dr. A. said. No, of course not, I'm just saying that it's very likely that this child is cursed, and that I, is horrible, it must be some kind of curse said the nurse C. Suddenly, nurse C. fell heavily against the floor off. 
What are you doing? Why have you suddenly dropped to the ground? They asked, I haven't thrown myself, it's as if something has thrown me to the ground. I knew, that weird child is cursed. Ah. Said Nurse C, who was trying to stand, to fall again more strongly stop doing the idiot during work hours said Dr. B I don't do it on purpose. I swear the nurse C replied, which couldn't stand up no matter how hard she tried, damn filling nurse. How dare you insult the great, powerful and cute Broly. During the nine months in which Broly was in the incubator he went ahead with his plans. Even though he bought the jug into that stupid god mainly to keep control of his mind and energy when he transformed. He also did it for his many other uses, uses he had planned to use them from the beginning. In the case that he reincarnated in the Toei animation version, Broly had planned to use the Juggin to mentally control some of the alien doctors so that, like Bardock, they sent him to Earth before Frieza's dwarf destroyed the planet. However, in the case that it was the version of Toriyama, the version in which he was, would give the Juggin subtler and varied uses to get more benefit and entertainment. Broly with his great amount of energy and the precise control that was acquired due to his great effort, natural talent and juggin. He practiced intensively for weeks another of the advanced foundations of the nun, the NN is an advanced application of ten and run. In run, aura usually envelopes only a small amount of space around the user's body. N is when one extends their run so that their aura extends further than normal, then uses ten at the same time to contain and give shape to that aura, normally a sphere. Someone using and can feel the shape and movement and power of anything within the area covered by their aura, with the degree of awareness and finesse depending on their level of skill. This N, which was influenced by his brutal amount of power, exquisite control of the Nan and Ki and especially the Juggin, managed to reach an unheard size. A size so brutal and scandalous that it covered more than half of the entire planet Vegeta. That N in a mysterious way connected with his Juggin, allowing to expand it brutally, turn everything that was inside his N was within reach of the Juggin. Nothing within the thousands of kilometers in diameter could escape his surveillance. Broly felt like a little god, Santa Claus or Mark Zuckerberg, able to see everything and hear everything without any restrictions. It's as if I also had to be a Coogan, once he had all his objectives under control, Broly started acting from his comfortable incubator. Thanks to another of Juggan's skills, telekinesis. Broly started to manipulate small objects in all directions to train this skill, which he managed to improve quickly thanks to his manipulation-type training methods. In a few days he was able to handle various strategic computers that were in the range of his N, thanks to the hacker skills he had bought, he began to collect all the information he needed. With his telekinesis and mentally typing on several computers at the same time, Broly began to improve his skills as a hacker, control of his powers and was acquiring information of all kinds. Location of different planets around the universe information about the races that inhabited them technological knowledge such as spacecraft or energy detectors the training method to be able to handle the Oozuru transformation, something only reserved and possible to achieve by elite warriors the method of creating Blutz waves. Information of the missions carried out. Broly was getting all the information he wanted, and information he didn't even know what wanted, which he stored in several places, even though they sometimes discovered him and knew how to create countermeasures against him, they never found the data thief, who always came back for more. However, he not only collected information to satisfy his curiosity. Broly also achieved two great feats, one was to fully control the hospital's computer system, especially the one in his room. In this way, without anyone noticing, he manipulated all the cameras and detectors in his room, the reports that arrived and reached the King Vegeta about him, as well as being able to decide which resources were destined for his care. The other challenge, even more complicated than the other, was to introduce several spy viruses in the spaceship of Frisia to be able to access his superior information and technology, and above all to monitor his operations during its stay in the planet Vegeta, and after abandoning it. Despite they were able to detect some of the decoy viruses, could not find the true one. The sensory infiltration plan had had a resounding success the virtual infiltration plan was proceeding as planned now there was only one more infiltration plan. The mental infiltration plan. Broly despite being almost omniscient within the planet Vegeta either through his Juggernaut or his control over the network, and despite being almost omnipresent due to his advanced control of telekinesis. Being locked in an incubator limited his actions too much. He had tried several times to acquire certain objects that he would need in the near future through telekinesis, but it did not turn out very well, which started the urban legend of the ghosts. Despite controlling a large part of the network and the great scope of his N, he could not control all the circumstances as he wanted, and he did not want to spend so much time of the day trying to keep everything in order. Broly was running out of patience. Despite being the riskiest part of his great plan, because any mistake could unmask him, 
he should start with it as soon as possible, the mental infiltration plan. The Juggin also allows the user mind control over persons with low strength, to cast illusions, transform people into his mind slaves, create false memories and erase them too. With this, he would get lackeys to work for him, who would be totally faithful without the likelihood of being betrayed, if he did it correctly, they wouldn't even know who his master was, or that they were being controlled the problem with that was that unlike with telekinesis or telepathy, to use mind control, the target had to directly see the juggin. Obviously, the fact that Broly was in a practically restricted room and inside an incubator that he should not leave, made him limit his recruitment of useful servants enough. His only objective could be the young scion who cleaned his room once in time, since he didn't want to risk having his mind control over Dr. Onion or his research team fail, that could expose him however, he also had a plan for it. Thanks to his control of the network of the hospital, he managed to eventually change the hospital staff's shifts so that they could get to his room to control them. Over time, he also managed not only to reach his personal hospital room, but also patients arriving from injured dangerous missions, which were guided by his pawns to the room. With the months, Broly got a lot of pawns who carried out their orders for him, leaving him more time to train. Mainly they were in charge of gathering materials, checking the situation outside the room and making sure that nobody bothered him when he trained. Thanks to his telepathy it was easy to give them new orders without having to visit his room again, it was like hacking living beings, something that moved him and made him feel guilty at the same time, they were scions of filler, most of them evil and that they were destined to die in a few years, but it still seemed like something not very moral. All complied with their orders efficiently and without question, however, it was not easy to mentally control a scion. So eventually the mind control was undone, some would fall apart at the worst moment, causing them to be caught in strange or illegal circumstances. Broly modified and erased much of the memory of those he controlled so that they would forget any relationship with him, the room, how they had come to that places and what they had been ordered to do during mind control. Each time had fewer pawns, and those who had each time were of lower quality. However, each time he needed less of his help, he was practically already prepared for the next phase, all that remained was to make the final touches. Year 738 King Vegeta, in the last seven months the strange incidents have been progressively decreasing, and specifically this last month the cases have practically disappeared. There have been no reports of missing objects, infiltrations in our system or cases of hypnotized people or memory problems. This can only indicate two things. That person has ceased his activities or. But before he could finish his sentence, King Vegeta finished it. That person has become increasingly implacable and effective, so much so that we aren't able to realize that he is still there. I'm right Paragus. King Vegeta asked Paragus, whom was the one giving him the report. You are right, Majesty Paragus replied. King Vegeta on his throne began to meditate about the situation that Paragus was commenting. When? PFFF. There was a strange noise coming from the seat of King Vegeta, a very ordinary sound. All the scions present in the throne room froze at the sound of that noise, again, someone was about to laugh, but he held back, he knew what would happen if he dared to laugh King Vegeta, with a vein stuck in his head, made it clear that nothing had happened and continued with the meeting by the way, Paragus, what happened to you? I don't see you in very good condition asked King Vegeta, who could see how Paragus had a very pronounced dark circles and a tired face. Paragus looked at King Vegeta and replied, it's nothing, King Vegeta, for various reasons I'm not sleeping well, and I've had certain difficulties what kind of difficulties? Be sincere said King Vegeta quite interested, I would not know how to explain majesty. The things I left in one place when I turned were in a different one. When I walk calmly on the street, I feel as if something were throwing me to the ground. Some reports that I have to deliver disappear the day I have to deliver it. I always find pointy objects between the clothes or objects that I'm going to sit on. When I sleep, my sheets and mattress move, or they get soaked, or I wake up with my face painted. However, there is never anyone doing any of that, and the cameras are unable to capture anything too. I didn't want to believe it at first, but I'm beginning to think that the urban legend of the ghost may be true Paragus said, writing up all the unusual and irritable events that had happened to him in recent months. Have you also had hair removed from your head, beard and tail and felt pinching? King Vegeta asked. Paragus baffled by King Vegeta's question answered eh? No, nothing like his majesty, why do you ask? King Vegeta feeling somewhat uncomfortable with that question tried to change the conversation for nothing. By the way, how is your son? Is he still in the hospital incubator? This is my majesty, with all the complications that I am having lately I cannot have time to take care of him, so I thought it was better to leave him in the hospital where he could be better looked after Paragus answered. I understand, you can leave said King Vegeta, ending the meeting. The question of King Vegeta to Paragus was not a casual question without reason. 
from months ago, he began to suffer situations similar to those described by Paragas. For months, King Vegeta was suffering vandalism, of which he had no explanation. His armor was painted pink and green, his cloak was pierced, during meetings, from his chair appeared mysterious fart-like sounds. Something threw him to the ground when he walked with pride before his subjects, and at night. He felt as if something was ripping him and cutting the hair from his body. One morning when he woke up, he noticed that his beard had been cut in the shape of a penis, and it made him go into a rage, almost destroying the palace in search of a guilty party. Another morning he woke up with the fur of his tail the pride of the science cut in a way that looked like letters saying sissy, going into a rage once again. Due to these episodes, he could barely sleep at night, he wanted to catch the culprit, but he never showed up. At night when sleeping, being more alert in case that entity could reappear and surrounded by his elite guards, he felt as if something was pulling his hair in a rather painful way, so he launched energy attacks in all directions with the hope to hit the guilty one. However, he was unable to find him, and every day the situation became worse, with impotence and resignation he had to force himself to sleep at night and wake up with a bed covered in hair that was once on his head, while watching horrified in the mirror as his already pronounced receding hairline get bigger and bigger but not only him, several people inside the palace or loyal to him were suffering similar cases, like Nappa or Prince Vegeta Nappa often woke up with messages written on his bald head, and at other times he had hair stuck to his head. King Vegeta's hair, which by impulse almost killed him a couple of times. As for Prince Vegeta, the ghost took advantage to hinder him in his training, making him usually lose against the Cybermans. Something that seriously hurt his pride. All these strange, paranormal and unexplained events began to fatten the urban legend of the mysterious ghost of the planet Vegeta, ha 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 you expected a ghost, but, it was me, Broly. Broly during the following eight months managed to greatly improve his infiltration skills. His end now covered the entire plant Vegeta, his mastery with computers had become exquisite and imperceptible, and he had greatly improved his capacity for mind control, so that virtually no one was able to realize his activities, and those who did, they were flashed like in men in black thanks to the Juggin. From the hospital, he had managed to create a small organization within the planet with his controlled scions, which imperceptibly carried out his orders in a practically autonomous way and without being detected. All this made Broly had a lot of free time, which not only wanted to devote to training. You had to relax a little bit. It's necessary to have a good mental health. Obviously, he filled that time by playing tricks on certain characters of Planet Vegeta jokes increasingly heavy, cruel and gimmicky. However, nobody suspected about him. Nobody ever suspects of a baby, ha 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 the perfect crime. Come on, if I'm not naughty at this age, when I will be. Broly during his first year of life was increasing his combat power, facing the public, at a normal pace for Dr. Onion to send his report to King Vegeta. Due to the evolution of those reports, King Vegeta was losing his interest in Broly. Although he had some curiosity about his third eye, the only two children he was interested in were his son and the mysterious Super Scion legendary that had not yet appeared. To Broly's delight, Paragus decided to leave him in the infirmary until he was three years old, which was normal for a Scion, especially if it was a single-parent family. Broly had prepared countermeasures in case Paragus wanted to take him home, but it was not necessary now. Broly didn't want to go home, right now he had great control over the hospital and several organizations. He was like a fish in the water, and it wasn't in his plans to leave that environment, now he had everything under control. Perfect, the time has come, to move on to phase 2, Broly opened high eyes inside the incubator and using telepathy communicated with the two mentally controlled nurses in the room, execute order 66, the two nurses nodded yes sir they pressed buttons on the control panel and the incubator opened. Broly, who had successfully learned the flight technique, levitated towards one of the nurses, who was holding a small-sized custom combat suit in his hands. Broly still in the air, he used telepathy to put on that suit. It was a black suit, with white boots, white arm protectors and above all a long hooded coat to hide his identity. The nurses pressed another button inside the incubator was projected an incredibly detailed hologram of Broly, which looked like the real one, floating quietly and asleep inside the incubator. It was so detailed and impressive that no one could tell the difference unless he was able to feel the key or none, since the power level detectors in that room would always mark the amount that Broly wanted. Broly levitating slowly left the room and went with a nurse to the roof of the hospital. Little Broly in the dark of the night, still floating in the air, said his first word since he came to this reality. I can finally stretch my legs and breathe fresh air, I've been locked in that cabinet in that room for over a year and a half. Although you could say that I have been around the planet Vegeta and beyond it, but I have not lived it. Damn, how nice it is to talk again. 
These incubators are a good invention, however, what they do is provide nutrients and stimulate the body to increase their combat power at the same time they help the body to mature, since the scions have a very long infant stage, but. With my legendary super scion body constitution and combat power of 167,000, they have no effect on me anymore. Every second that I spend here is a second that I am wasting, although I will have to return for the official checks. Anyway, time to go to my house. My subjects and I have been building it for more than a year. I want to see it with my three eyes Broly covered by his coat, which allowed a great camouflage not only in sight, also to any type of sensors, he flew away from the hospital at a great speed. However, he stopped halfway and looked towards the palace. But before, I have to comply with the daily routine. Broly used her telekinesis and, a few seconds in the palace. Damn it. Again. Give the face, monster. King Vegeta shouted angrily, explosion. Explosion. Where are you hiding? Come out and fight against me. King Vegeta yelled furious while throwing key balls, your majesty another attack? You, your majesty W, what happened to you? said the guards alerted by the attack, surprised and terrified. Shut up. Don't look at me. Look for the responsible. And bring it here almost alive. I want to kill him with my own hands. Due to the chaos and destruction inside the palace, Prince Vegeta appeared. Father. What is happening? Is that damned ghost again? Father? What happened to your hairstyle? Why is it the same as Nappa's? Ha 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 it's these little pleasures that make life meaningful. With the receding hairline, you had, stay bald is not surprising at your age, if you were human. Well, it is time to do some work. I'll have more time to have fun tomorrow, ha 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 said Broly as he flew towards an extremely distant part of the planet Vegeta. Broly, without anyone noticing him, flew at a great speed towards a fixed point of the desolate planet Vegeta after 15 minutes, he arrived at his destination. It was a fairly large rocky mountain, that hadn't a single tree, no trace of life. Broly with his telepathy moved a few dozen rocks, and before him appeared a passage with several rocky-looking doors. With the passage of Broly the doors opened in different directions, and after a few seconds he arrived at his destination. In front of him was a majestic spacecraft 250 cubic meters in diameter, which seemed to be made of mirrors. Broly touched the surface of the ship with his hand, and from there a door appeared. The interior of the spaceship was of the most varied, elegant and futuristic aspect. Most of the space of the ship, was occupied by a training cabin with a size of 70 meters with several tools for training the control cabin of 5 meters from which the whole ship was controlled, either the interior or the movement of the same the two rooms together occupied 24 meters in which there was a bed and a small desk and cabinets. The living room and kitchen that together measured 36 meters in which there was a sofa, an armchair a table, and the rest was a good kitchen with many utensils. A bathroom of 20 meters, quite large, with a good shower and jacuzzi the remaining 95 meters belonged to the machinery that made possible the operation of the ship, storage of provisions and a small hangar with a capsule. Everything was perfectly decorated and constructed, it practically looked like the inside of a Star Trek spaceship. Home sweet home said Broly breathing heavily and smelling the new product smell of his spaceship. In that area and ship, apart from him, there were only small robots performing cleaning and maintenance tasks. Broly didn't want anyone near his spaceship, so he only had robots doing tasks. Since I have to travel, I prefer to do it with style and comfort. I don't want to travel in that bubble, where I cannot shower, cooking, exercise, stretch, and seriously. I don't know how to mess their shit. Furthermore, I want to inspect Kami's ship to implement some of its features in mine, and get Dr. Brief technology to store the spaceship in a capsule and make the interior bigger without compromising the exterior, both are in my list of things to do when I arrive at Earth Broly toured his new home, the spaceship had been designed by him and had also practically built it by telekinesis thousands of kilometers away, but actually entering inside for the first time was a unique sensation. I have fulfilled one of my dreams of childhood, youth and semi-maturity, finally I have my own spaceship built by me. I have spent many hours that I could have dedicated to training, but, it's been worth it, it's beautiful. I would have liked to do something bigger, like an Imperial Destroyer, or a Death Star, but you have to be realistic and practical. Enough of sensitivities, it's time to try the most important room in the ship, the training room Broly, taking as reference the ship that Goku used when he traveled to the planet Namek, built a training chamber that allowed increasing the gravity up to 100 times. Like Dr. Brief, using the weightlessness device used by spacecraft, Broly and a team of scientists who had hypnotized, managed to build a room with an artificial gravity device. Dr. Brief is a genius, this part cost me and a team of scientists almost a year despite having material and knowledge of leftovers about the matter, 
but he was capable of all that and more in a few days, it's about a year and a half before the phase 3 of my plan starts. I already have practically all the scientific development that the planet Vegeta and Frisia can offer me, for now I only have to train, and of course have fun at night, Jijage since he reincarnated in this reality he had been able to train his control over the Nan and the Ki for more than two years. Despite not having practiced many foundations of the Nan related to combat as they are Shu, Ken, Ko, Ryu and Hatsu, he had an extremely solid and deep basis. In addition, thanks to the Jugan after being almost two years in the shade controlling the planet Vegeta with his telekinesis and other metal skills, his mental power was so great that he could rival against great magicians, so for now it was not a pending issue to improve. However, there was something so or more important than him Ki and the Nun, something that due to the circumstances had left totally abandoned. His physical body. Although Broly had a combat power of over 150,000, a combat power superior to Captain Jinyu, who was considered the most powerful person in the universe after Frieza. Since Akira Toriyama had planned to finish Dragon Ball Z in that saga. His fighting power was due mainly to the amount of aura and the control he had over her, his physique, despite being extremely powerful for a scion, especially for a scion that was less than two years old. It was practically nil. The serum that was supplied to him in the incubator was useful to increase his growth and good development of his physique. His superior physique of legendary super scion made it even more effective, making him look like a three years old child, but that it was still by far its weakest point and the one that most urgently needed to be solved, especially for being the legendary super scion. Broly in order to train exclusively his physical power using Zen and Ki suppression to its maximum power, retracted his own energy inside his body. With this, what was left was his basic physical strength without almost any energy to improve him. Broly imposed on himself a training. In his state of nullification of aura, he had to perform 100 push UPS. 100 sit UPS. 100 squats, 10 kilometers running. If it worked for Saatama, maybe for me too, after that warm up, he had to perform all the katas of the Kung Fu Shinjin Ryu style perfectly and then go back to performing the Saatama training again, and so repeat this routine over and over again until the body could not continue, to again get up and start over. Broly would repeat this routine again and again in a specific gravity, and would not increase the level of gravity until he was able to perform all that routine at that level of gravity as perfectly as in the previous level, being 100 the total levels of gravity. Broly had planned to do more extreme trainings, but he feared that because of his early age, that could be harmful to his body, and he would only do them once he had completed the 100 levels perfectly. Among other advantages of this training is that it was impossible to locate him with energy locators, because he wasn't using energy. If he did a training releasing large amounts of energy, given the level of vigilance that was on the planet Vegeta due to the mysterious Phantom and Freza's iron control, it would be easily discovered. Both the Nan and the Ki are methods to control and manipulate the energy that every living being has. That energy is the synergy between the mind and body and can be regarded as the total energy of a human being when performing any action, however small, living beings spend that energy whether walking, running, jumping, thinking or fighting, even when eating and metabolizing those foods to regenerate that energy. Each action involves a certain energy expenditure. It's thanks to the control of that energy through Ki or Nen that we are able to make that energy expenditure more efficient and effective, one could also increase the amount of that energy through good control. By compressing and purifying it, we can make the body generate more energy naturally. If a cell is a container, which only contains a limited amount of energy. Through control, we can compress that energy, making possible that more energy can enter that container. We can also purify or change the nature of that energy, making it more efficient to our container, although that's something it still escapes a little to my knowledge. Due to the synergy that exists between energy and the body, this increase in quantity and quality improves all the functions of the same despite not having exercised. However, in my state, I have already reached the limit of energy gain through control. The total energy of a living being is due to the synergy between the mind and body the control over the energy, of which I have reached the perfection in my current state, would be the mind, something that for now I cannot improve, in Dragon Ball they meditated to increase that control, the container of that energy, which is brimming with my perfectly controlled energy, would be the body, something that I have to strengthen to allow to store and create even more energy. In Dragon Ball, they trained physically to increase the amount of energy the body was able to create and contain, so now, if I want to increase that maximum amount of energy that my body can contain and create, I must do it as powerful as I can as soon as possible. If not, will be impossible for me to move forward, no matter how good control I have over my energy, 
although I could improve my real combat skills, it would be a waste of time and resources to do so now. Broly continued with that routine for 11 months in a row, during these months he followed his training routine until reaching 68 levels of gravity, not being able to complete his objective. It was a real hell in which he thought he would die several times, but he overcame his limit again and again. Although he could not finish in the time the training that he had imposed himself imitating the great martial artists of the anime, luckily he had not remained bald as Saatama, or as King Vegeta, the results and the merit of having reached that point were impressive. Goku was able to perform a similar training, however he was able to do it with a 25-year-old body, which Broly didn't have, remember that Goku from Dragon Ball GT had a much lower base power for being a child, and Goku used his energy at all times to strengthen his body to withstand all that training, which Broly, a child of almost 3 years of age didn't. He was doing that training suppressing his energy to the maximum, only using his physical strength. If it had been someone else, it is very likely that he never had more than 20 points, and he would have died in the attempt, regardless of his age. However, being a scion, especially the Super Scion Legendary, brought advantages that surely no other being had. Not only is it limited to a muscular transformation. Broly wanted to continue with his routine until he reached 100, but, he changed his mind because he realized that his physical power had increased too much and that his energy had proportionally increased. Therefore, he would need time to learn to regulate it and keep it under control before retraining. Besides, the date of the final act of the planet Vegeta was approaching, and he had to prepare for a year 739 this was the year that Broly had been waiting for, the year that Frieza would destroy the planet Vegeta. Broly may have left the planet Vegeta long ago. He had a beautiful spaceship, all the knowledge he could get from that planet, he had trained enough to overthrow King Vegeta with only half a fart and had created a substitute for him that would make no one aware of his absence. There were only two things that held him on that almost desolate planet. The first was to find the exact location of planet Earth. The Earth was a planet that was discovered a few days before the destruction of the planet Vegeta and for now they had not found it and needed that information before leaving. However, that was not the real reason why he was still on the surface of the planet Vegeta. Broly had infiltrators in the intelligence center, and had built several devices to communicate to his spaceship the exact coordinates of the new planets discovered. Therefore, he could travel through the universe until the coordinates were sent. The real reason why he was still on that planet, was another, or you could say it was two and a half reasons. With the great increase of their physical power, his cells were now able to store more energy and in the same way they also created it in an overflowing way. His combat power as indicated the energy detector created to record high numbers, marked the amount of 2.358.347 this increase in power was due to his not only to physical training and to control, there was another factor that contributed enormously, and that was the Zenkai. Also called Scion power, the power allows Scion to recover from harm in relatively short periods of time and become stronger after recovering. Goku in his training in the spaceship with Artificial Gravity 100, received great injuries and thanks to the training and Zenkai his power went from 8000 to 90000 in the case of Broly went from 167000 to 2.358.347, despite not having suffered so much damage due to his more intelligent and controlled training. This was something that Broly expected and that added points to his initial theory about the Scion and the legendary Super Scion. After finishing his exhaustive and almost suicidal training, Broly spent a few weeks trying to get used to his new level of power. When he could control it in an efficient and effective way, slightly improving his power once more, he returned to training. However, he did not do that same training again. Although it has been a great training and the results have been practically unbeatable. From now on, I need to train my vital energy together with Ki and Nan at the same time I exercise. It has cost me more than I thought to resynchronize them, and much more to control them correctly, the more I increase my power in desynchronization, the more it will cost me to balance it again, despite Juggins great help. I suppose if that method of training were so incredible and practical, more than one person, would have used it in the manga or anime. I guess I'm smart, but not so much, his new training consisted in practicing his control of Nan and Ki at the same time he was exercising, for this he started to practice three of the most advanced Nan applications most needed for combat, the Ko, the Ken, and the Ryu. Ko, focusing all Nen on one point an advanced technique which combines all the four fundamentals Ten, Zetsu, Ren, and Hatsu whereby a Nen user focuses all the aura of his body on one point to attack or defend. This technique is very risky because while it makes one part of the body exceptionally powerful, it leaves the rest completely unprotected. Ken, protecting the whole body with Nen a defensive technique whereby a Nen user maintains a state of Ren over their entire body. Compared to Ko, 
which concentrates all the user's aura on a body part, the defensive power of Ken is weaker on any given part of the body, but it allows the user to defend from all directions. Hence, it is suitable to use when fighting against multiple opponents. However, one must be careful not to overuse Ken to avoid running out of Aura Ryu, changing between Ken and Ko is the technique of instantly switching between Ken and Ko. It allows the user to concentrate Aura, Ko, or disperse Aura, Ken, in a timely fashion, making their attack and defense more efficient. To use Ryu properly, one must also use their brain using the proper percent of concentration or dispersion according to the situation above all he trained his most significant and developed skill above all, the N. Which with its power increase had grown so absurdly that it had managed to cover several planets near the planet Vegeta, it stretched out around billions of kilometers. The days passed while he continued practicing his skills. Until one day, two people appeared in outer space near planet Vegeta. As ugly as ever, it's a planet with very little charm. Don't you think? Said one of the people who appeared out of nowhere in space. You're right. Anyway, let's see what excuse is going to put the monkey king. Let's get this over with quickly, I want to go to sleep one more time said the other person. Those two people were within the range of N of Broly, they are already here the last phase begins, MMM, how unusual, let's have a look said the person from the space who seemed to be in charge. When saying those words, those two people disappeared for a moment from the position where Broly had located them and. Hey, boy, were you the one you were spying on us? Broly still waiting for something like that to happen, he was surprised at how quickly they had disappeared from his range and flight to appear behind him. Broly with some fear turned, and there was no doubt, it was about the two people he had been waiting for, the reason why he still remained on the surface of the planet. He had been waiting for the two most powerful people in the universe 7 the god of destruction Beerus and the angel Wiss. According to Vegeta's flashback both in the anime and in the film. Beerus and Wiss had visited the planet Vegeta because King Vegeta had not complied with Beerus' orders, and that would be the cause of the destruction of the whole planet in the hands of Frisia. However, by suggestion of Beerus. Therefore, the year 739 was the year they visited the planet Vegeta Broly, as he had rehearsed, spoke very cordially to Bill Sorry sir, it was not my intention to spy on you. I was training my vision when suddenly you appeared out of nowhere. It was incredible, so I couldn't stop looking Beerus in a disinterested way said oh I see. I forgive you anyway, it's quite impressive that a mortal is able to see from so far away. I guess I have to congratulate you Beerus looked more closely at that strange child who had been able to observe him from space, above all he noticed three things. Hey Wiss, did I understand that the distinctive feature of the science is that they have a tail like that child, right? Beerus asked Wiss. That's right, Mr. Beerus Wiss replied I see that this child has a tail, but, what is this third eye? Besides, his power is high enough to be a scion, especially for his age. MMM how interesting, it seems that our trip to this disgusting planet is not going to be as boring as I thought, Beerus said with a smile on his face. Perfect, this was the reaction I wanted and expected, Beerus approached Broly and bowed to his height and staring at his third eye asked Hey, brat, what is this third eye? From when did the scions have eyes on their foreheads? Broly with a respectful attitude responded, I don't know what this third eye is. I was born with it and from what I've heard there's never been any scion with anything like that. As for what he does, with it, I am able to see far away no matter what is in between, see things in more detail and are also able to move objects with my mind very easily, and I am also able to use telepathy and other mental skills. Sir Beerus and Wiss were surprised for a fraction of a second and Wiss said, MMMM it must be some kind of mutation Mr. Beerus. Will this mutation have something to do with its high level of power? Beerus strangely curious, entertained and satisfied with the respectful attitude of the little boy asked him I see that you have something small future, the scions have some potential. What are you doing in this desolate place so far from the city? Well, for now everything is fine, now it's time to take a risk, Broly without changing in the least his respectful and servile attitude said feigning something of concern this, you will see. Due to my third eye, people don't like it, and they always say bad things about me, so I usually escape when I can to train my body and my eye, although I shouldn't be here. Beerus and Wiss murmured, losing some interest in the conversation. Broly immediately acted, grabbing a backpack that had by his side, please gentlemen, don't tell anyone, in return I will give you these extra special sandwich plus I have prepared this morning, said Broly as he took two sandwiches with telekinesis from his backpack and approached them to Beerus and Wiss. I've been practicing for months my cooking skills that I bought that god bastard. Despite the few ingredients of the planet Vegeta, I got some of my minions to bring me delicious things from other planets and thanks to that, I have managed to recreate many delicious recipes. Every day during this year I have been preparing food and taking it with me waiting for your arrival, 
let's see what the result is, Beerus was surprised by the interesting offer of Broly and smelled the food, while Wiss stood by his side observing the sandwiches with curiosity mmm, I've never heard of that kind of sandwich, but it smells great, if they taste as good as they smell, it's possible that I think of your request, Beerus said as he took a bite of the sandwich. Wiss ate it at the same time. Please, I hope you like it, or I'm in trouble, mmmmm delicious. What combination of flavors, textures, sauces? Wiss how is it that I've never heard of this delicacy? Beerus said incredibly enthusiastic, it's right, Mr. Beerus, it's delicious said Wiss with a great smile, perfect, let's continue, Broly, relieved, but pretending to be happy, said, I'm glad my food is liked by two people as extremely strong as you. If you wish, I can give you the recipe, so you can prepare it yourself if you wish with those words, the reaction of Beerus and Wiss changed drastically. That reaction was not abnormal. Both Beerus and Wiss had the key of the gods, a kind of energy imperceptible to any mortal, it was impossible for someone who did not have the key of the gods to be able to know at a glance how strong they were. However, this strange scion boy seemed to be able to know that they were strong. That made them both doubt. Beerus to understand what these words were due, asked what do you mean we are extremely strong? Are you able to feel our key? Haha, <laughs> well I have been able to capture your interest through food and on this subject, Broly with respect and emotion responded no sir, I am not able to detect anything of your key, the logic would be that you too have no key, but it is impossible. Which means that either you have hidden it in an incredible way or, your key is of a quality so superior to mine that it is impossible for me to detect it, and for a reason. My instinct tells me that you are surely the two strongest people in the entire universe Wiss and Beerus were fascinated by Broly's response, the strange three-year-old boy before them was right in everything. It was impossible for him to have information about the divine key and the gods, that meant that that child not only had strange abilities never before seen in a scion, an incredibly powerful combat power for that universe and exquisite cooking skills, he also had a great intelligence and a terrifying instinct. Fascinating said Wiss, who had erased his typical indifferent smile from his face. Beerus surprised, fascinated, proud and satisfied with the words of Broly asked. Oh, and how strong do you think we are? Tell me, if we compare King Vegeta and Frieza with me, what would be the difference? Perfect, everything goes according to plan, Broly without thinking too much replied, I could only see Frieza once, but, the difference between him and King Vegeta was astounding, as if King Vegeta was a flea and Frieza was a dog. And as for the difference between you and Frieza, my instinct tells me it's the same difference between a dog, and a god Beerus incredibly satisfied with the answer said ha 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 I see that you are very intelligent and have a great instinct, that's right, it's a very good comparison of powers ha ha ha, you have put me in a good mood little boy, as in the manga, anime and film, he loves to be praised, especially when he thinks they don't do it forcefully because of his identity, Wiss, who was equally surprised, but was also concerned about other matters, told Beerus Mr. Beerus. I understand that I'm having a good time, but don't you think we should go to King Vegeta's palace to end that matter? Beerus, became serious again and said, MMM. I think you're right Wiss, let's go to our goal. MMM this has been refreshing, good, now or never. I hope you don't get angry, this? Mr. Beerus, Mr. Wiss. I know it may sound presumptuous, inconsiderate and daring on my part to ask this, but, would you be so kind to have a training match with me? Beerus changed his cheerful attitude to a serious one and asked, What did you ask me, little one? I think I haven't heard you well, shit, it's not the nice attitude I expected, but it's not the worst situation, Broly still bowing respectfully replied I had asked, if you would be so kind to have a training combat with me, Sir Beerus without changing too much the serious expression replied I don't understand you very well, I thought you knew perfectly how powerful I am. I admit that you are much stronger than Vegeta but you don't even get close to Frieza's level, you are between a flea and a dog. We could say that you are a little hamster for now. Do you expect a little hamster to face a god? Frankly, I don't understand you. Either you are excessively arrogant or you are a fool Broly replied it's nothing like that Mr. Beerus, I understand perfectly what my level of power is, and I know very well that I don't have a single possibility or even make you sweat. It wasn't my intention to challenge you in any way or offend you, sir. Beerus, crossed his arms with a more relaxed attitude and said I'm listening to you, keep going, well, it seems he's willing to listen, Broly bowed and said it's very likely that I can never have an opportunity like this, to be able to experiment with my own body how incredible is the most powerful person in the whole universe. If I am only able to learn 0.0000000000000000000000000000000001% of you it would be something wonderful sir, the best birthday gift that I could wish for, it's not my birthday, 
but, this increased the points to make him accept, that's why I asked for a training match sir, it would be an indescribable honor. Of course, I will not ask you to help me for nothing, sir. I don't have much, but I have a lot of good food cooked by me in that house on the right. If you help me I will prepare everything you want, and you can take what you want to first, I caught their attention watching them with my jug and slash and next, I have created a good impression by being very polite, respectful and flattering without looking like a toady without self-esteem. At the same time, I have given to understand that I am not an ordinary person, increasing the good impression of them finally, I've given those gluttons good food. According to my forecast if I ask for a combat training in those terms. With respect and adulation, adding a reward in the form of food, he should accept. In addition, considering that they are in a hurry and that they will want the food, they will leave me alive to prepare the food, Beerus, hearing especially the part where Broly mentioned the food, asked enthusiastically, food? Is that food as good as the one you gave us a moment ago? Wiss also had a similar reaction. And great. I wanted that face, Broly cheerfully replied, that's right sir, I have the same or more tasty things Beerus licked his lips like a cat and said it's okay. I accept your request we're a bit rushed, but. I am a kind god, and it is not a problem to teach my grandiosity to a boy as respectful as you Broly very happy with his answer said thank you so much Mr. Beerus, you just turned me into the happiest scion in the universe Beerus extremely reaffirmed and satisfied of himself said it's nothing, it's nothing. The combat will last 3 minutes. The first minute I'll just dodge in the second minute I will just dodge and block in the third minute, I will dodge, block and attack. Are you ready? 1 minute to attack? He wants to kill me. However, at that moment Mr. Wiss intervened, are you sure Mr. Beerus? You barely know how to hold back. Do you prefer me to do the training match? Beerus replied with his typical tantrum, who did you take me for? Do you think I don't know how to restrict my strength? That I am a brute who destroys everything in its path? It's a training match, of course I will not cause irreparable damage. Also, if I kill him I will not be able to taste his food, of course I will know how to contain myself. Beerus went to Broly and said let's start little boy, come to me without fear, and remember your promise, I'm a bit scared about the last minute, but, the offer is perfect for my needs, yes sir Broly launched himself at Beerus at full speed with the intention of punching him in the chest, however, Beerus dodged it in an extremely easy and simple way. From that punch followed another 30 punches and kicks, but Beerus dodged them with the speed and grace of a butterfly, he didn't even need to open his eyes. Broly had the juggin, which allowed him to observe the movements of the muscles of the body clearly, so he could anticipate the movements of his adversary. At the same time he also had the N, which due to his great handling of the key, which was beginning to find a way to merge it with his Nen, allowed him to create an N of 2 kilometers around him that could stay active during the fight, thus allowing the Juggin to be extended to all that area. With this advantage, Broly was able to observe in detail the movements of Beerus from all angles. Even so, trying to follow and understand Beerus' movements was like trying to follow the full trajectory of a ray of light being a myopic, an impossible feat however, Broly wasn't discouraged, he understood that the breach would be something like that, he just needed to keep attacking. Although Broly was unable to connect any blow, Wiss and Beerus noticed something impressive. With each stroke, the next was more precise. With each step, the next was faster. And with each reaction, the action was better. This child is learning while fighting at a monstrous pace every time he makes less unnecessary movements, and he does them in a more automatic and instinctive way, it was as if his nearsightedness was being cured, being able to see the ray of light with more clarity, yes. 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 I'm improving, I'm improving. Ha 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 I was right. This is so exciting. So intoxicating. Ha ha ha, is this what it means to be a scion? That's why Goku always looked for strong rivals so urgently. Ha ha ha, I begin to understand him. I just hope I don't become a goose head like him, Broly still did not hit a single blow against Beerus, so he changed his strategy. Broly used the movement he was practicing for this situation, 36 Omega Comets. Around Broly appeared 36 spheres of green key, which followed him as he continued attacking Beerus body to body. When Beerus dodged one of his attacks, Broly sent three or six of those spheres against him which thanks to his great control and telekinesis were following him at the rhyme that he attacked in melee-style Beerus without disheveled while dodging all attacks from all directions said it's not a bad idea. With this strategy, you could seriously defeat someone stronger than you, how? But before I could finish the sentence. The 27 of the 36 key spheres that had managed to surround him exploded at the same time, terribly. However, Beerus who reappeared right behind Broly, whispered in his ear however, the difference between us is too big to work against me. The first minute has already passed, now I will block some of your caresses, 
come to me he said as he pointed to him to come with his finger. There I go said Broly. Broly charged against Beerus, who waited for him without moving in the least. When he reached the same distance as Beerus, it began to rain a storm of blows which Beerus casually stopped with his little finger, without moving or retreat Broly was using practically all of his aura on his fists, legs and even his tail, concentrating 100% of his nan and ki at the exact moment he attacked, creating a stronger than normal blow. Beerus and Wiss were surprised again. He's hitting harder than anyone of his level would, and he's also hitting harder every time. Not only learn to move better while fighting, also learn to attack better, more precisely, with more speed and more power, it was as if the little hamster of the beginning was slowly becoming a big rat with sharper claws and fangs Broly, who had calculated that he had practically finished the second minute, prepared to launch his last attack, the dual Rasen Omega Blaster Broly using the concept of Naruto's Rasengan, which, although it was extremely repetitive in Naruto, he found it a practical and fascinating concept, he created two spheres, one in each hand, two key green Rasengan mixed with none. And he threw them to Beerus. Causing a great explosion and destruction. Of which Beerus left completely unharmed once again. What an interesting technique, you have managed to mold your key, and another type of energy in a very curious way, many attacks with more key couldn't have rivaled your attack. I didn't know that the Scions had techniques as advanced as this. Is it your invention? Beerus asked solemnly. That's right sir, I invented it a few weeks ago Broly answered while catching her breath. You are an intelligent child, there is no doubt, we have already checked how you move and how you attack, let's see how you defend yourself Beerus said as he loaded his finger. I hope not to die, Broly at this last minute would use all his energy to increase his defense and speed, so he used practically all his aura on his ken to mitigate Beerus attacks, whatever the direction. And the expected, the beating began. Beerus began to attack with his fingers from all directions at a great speed. Although none of Beerus's attacks were deadly and properly matched Broly's level of power, each one of those fingertips was enough to knock him down. As the beating continued, Broly was able to get used to the rhythm of Beerus' blows, getting on his guard a few times and protecting himself. But once Broly managed to protect himself, Beerus again increased the rate of his attacks, making them more fast and powerful. The normal thing would be that, when receiving all those blows, Broly was more tired, weaker, and with less energy, since there was a direct relationship between damage suffered and loss of energy. However, before them something unusual was happening, something much more unusual than his great capacity for learning and strange eye. His wounds healed quickly and when he healed? Hey, hey, really? What kind of creature are you little monster? Beerus said in amazement for the first time during the fight. Wiss, who was watching the fight placidly while eating a snack that he had prepared, said I had heard that the Scions have a great speed of recovery, and that once they have recovered from a battle their body adapts to the wounds suffered to make it stronger, and the stronger the wound the greater the power they get, but, I had never heard of one recovering so quickly and with such power, yes, yes, continues like this god of destruction give me more power. Show me more. Broly continued to defend himself as best he could, and Beerus, fascinated by how strong Broly could become and how long he could hold, he began to increase the intensity of his blows. Broly reached a point that could not barely move due to the avalanche of blows that came. Beerus had been too excited and despite the intensity of the blows was within the tolerable, the number of blows became immense. So shabby it hit that Broly did not have time to recover minimally from the last 100 blows when he hit the 300. Broly really believed that he would die. If it hadn't been for Wiss intervention, he surely would have been dead. Mr. Beerus, I think the minute has passed, how about we finish the fight? Wiss said as he stopped with his cane, the blows of Beerus that were aimed at Broly, which fell backwards to the ground. Beerus surprised said eh? Has a minute gone by? I guess the time goes by fast when you have a good time, ha ha ha, are you still alive, little one? He said, as he looked at Broly, dying on the floor. I think. I think. Yes, it's been awesome, Mr. Beerus, thank you very much said Broly trying to recover his breath and the mobility of the body. Oh, look what you've done Mr. Beerus, in the state that you've left him I doubt he can prepare the food he promised us Wiss said melodramatically while Beerus looked somewhat embarrassed and annoyed by his own actions and consequences. But Broly, who was slowly recovering from his wounds and regaining his energy, said as he began to levitate, don't worry, a promise is a promise. Then I prepare the food, in fact I'm already preparing it with telekinesis, accompany me to my house. Oh it hurts Beerus with a smile, approached Broly and asked him, you're still too weak to even hit me or receive my attacks, even when I'm suppressing myself to do much, but, you did well despite that tell me, little one, what is your name? 
My name is Broly, Mr. Beerus answered Broly suspended in the air with the help of Beerus. Broly. I'll remember that name Broly accompanied Beerus and whisked to his house, which was built only for this occasion. When they arrived, several dishes were already prepared, which they ate with pleasure, waiting for the rest. Broly lay down on the bed and ate something too, while with telekinesis he was still cooking all the ingredients he had in the fridge. Until they decided to leave. Thank you very much for your hospitality, Broly. Can I really take all this with me? Whis said as he watched the table full of food. Yes, of course, that's what I promised replied Broly, who was already in better physical condition. Ah, then I'll take it all Whis with a touch of his staff made all the food disappear from the table. Let's go Whis, we have unfinished business, by Broly Beerus said as he marched through the door. Broly still recovering, through the jug and watched as Whis and Beerus arrived at the palace of King Vegeta. King Vegeta knelt to receive Beerus and said good afternoon Mr. Beerus, in honor of your visit we have prepared a banquet. But, what is the reason for that honor? Beerus observed King Vegeta strangely and said, I'll explain why I'm here, but before that, what happened to your hair? King Vegeta, with his gleaming bald head, answered, I. It's a long story. Broly stopped observing the meeting, it didn't interest him, since he knew the elapsed and result due to the flashback of Vegeta and the first minutes of the film of the Battle of the Gods. It was time to leave the planet Vegeta as soon as possible. JRVIS cancels Plan B and Plan C, Initiate Plan A said Broly. A semi-robotic voice was transmitted from his belt at your orders, sir, initiating the plan of self-destruction of unusable space pod, in several desert points of the planet Vegeta several modified space pod were destroyed to dust in an extremely silent way, without anyone noticing. Broly anticipating possible futures that could arise when fighting with Beerus, created three plans. Plan A, was the one that had happened Beerus left him in a minimally decent state to be able to leave the planet on his own. Plan B, Beerus left him unconscious and they left him. In that case Jarvis, the artificial intelligence he had created, would send a rescue space pod which would pick him up and take him to Kid, his main spaceship which that was operating on a nearby planet, he didn't want to risk his beloved spacecraft being discovered or destroyed by Beerus in an accident. Plan C, Beerus left him in a terrible state, between life and death. In that case, Jarvis, the artificial intelligence he had created, would send a large-sized rescue space pod with a healing device inside him which he would pick up and take him to Kid, his main spaceship which that was operating on a nearby planet and wait until he recovered completely. Since the resulting situation was A, it was useless to keep those space pods. Broly used the telepathy with all the controlled Scion and gave them the last instructions and got into his space pod and left the planet Vegeta forever. Ha ha ha, my plan so far has been a great success. I feel like Sosuke Aizen in the saga of the Soul Society, everything has gone as I planned. There is no doubt, the legendary Super Scion that I could see in the trailers of the Broly movie for now has all the features that I deduced, Broly before being reborn and during this life, was theorizing what should be the characteristics of Broly based on the trailers and he came to this conclusion. The legendary Super Scion is a mutant Scion that maximizes to the extreme all the characteristics of a Scion what characteristics do all the Scions possess? 1. They are born with a power superior to many other races. Except for cases like Goku, the majority of Scions are born with high combat powers, an average human has a power of 1, however, Scions normally born around 100 of combat power, in strange cases great Scions were born like Vegeta with 1000 of combat power, considered the greatest prodigy among the Scions. But me being the legendary Super Scion, this feature is maximized, if I hadn't trained before birth I would have a power of 10,000, too, they learn to fight very quickly. Goku showed this characteristic as a child on more than one occasion. He was able to learn the Kamehameha, a very advanced technique, just observing it once. In Corin's tower, she learned to follow Corin's movements in only three days, something that cost to mutant Roshi three years. Let's say that if I went to the planet Earth now and trained with Corin as Goku did, it would probably only take me three seconds to learn Corin's teachings. In the film trailer Vegeta clearly said he learns while fighting, he became increasingly skillful fighting, although he had never left that yellow planet and had only fought with beasts, without knowledge of martial arts. For this reason, I have been able to learn such incredible skills so quickly in such a short time and with such efficiency, 3, they have the Zanaki or Scion power. This power allows a Scion to recover from harm in relatively short periods of time. During which, the Scion will imprint on the injuries and or experiences and instantly learning from it. As it does, their minds and body adapt to the said struggles, allowing their instinctual methods and natural resistance to noticeably improve, which also increases their physical might as they recover, thereby lessening the chances of the problem happening again. 
The more severe the damage they recover from, the more significant the improvements will be, effectively making prolonged battles more favorable to them. Goku's healing from his first battle against Vegeta and multiple injuries during his gravity training in X100 Earth's gravity increased his power level from over 8000 to 90000. Then after recovering from battling Captain Jinyu, Goku's power level reached 3 million enough to pressure Frieza's initial might in fourth form. Broly couldn't learn to properly control the key on that planet, nor could have such good training, teachers or adversaries, but there is something he probably had during his childhood and youth as his scars show, the Zenkai, that would explain that great base power. It is certain that he had a lot of Zenkais during the trailer, which caused him to have such a huge base power that he cornered Goku and Vegeta again and again. Zenkais that he kept having again and again during the battle. That means that Broly? I must have a very powerful and ultra-active Zenkai, which not only gives a huge increase in power extremely fast, it also allows one to recover very quickly, e4, they look for powerful rivals. Encompassing the two previous points, the Scions become more powerful as they fight. They learn from their adversaries and learn from the damage they receive, so they instinctively seek to fight against rivals stronger than them to increase their power more quickly, and they enjoy it, so they look for it even more, it's like a drug for them. That's why Goku always commits follies in order to continue fighting with powerful rivals, like forgiving his life or curing them. That's why I've planned to fight against Beerus, even though my most rational part told me not do it. However, my instinct was practically forcing me to do it. I suppose being the legendary Super Scion has unfortunately also increased this characteristic. Although surely I have also been influenced by my other rational part that take risks for a greater good. Nobody could teach me better and could cause me so many Zenkais as the God of Destruction. My fighting skills have been sharpened to an incredible degree and my power has gone from 2,358,347 to 11,178,300 in just 3 minutes. Ha 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 ha. The risk has been worth it ha ha ha. The 5, the S cells, all living beings are composed of cells, when they eat those nutrients are assimilated, and they are transported to all the cells of the body, becoming energy. This energy is released in each physical activity of your body allowing you to perform all your activities, walk, run, breathe, fight. Kamehameha's. The S cells are special cells capable of creating more energy than normal cells, they must be able to convert practically all food into energy. All the scion to a greater or lesser extent have S cells in their body, but for these cells to do mitosis, increase in quantity, they need several psychological and emotional factors. Like tranquility and an emotional bond with other people. Goku established great friendship ties, so he produced a lot of S-cells. And the only way to release the energy from those cells, is through extreme anger, overflowing your body and awakening the Super Scion. The S-cells contain up to 100 times more energy than the base energy of the Scion, being 50 in the Super Scion state and another 50 in the Super Scion 2 state, being the Super Scion 3 in imperfect break limits transformation. My theory is that the S-cell mutants of the legendary Super Scion don't have an energy limit, or that when reaching a certain point doesn't have a limit. With my fight against Beerus I hope to become Super Scion, or its equivalent in Broly case, but it seems that it has not been possible. I don't know if it's because I have not been able to generate enough S-cells, maybe because of my age or because I've barely had any connection with anyone, but the same can apply to that Broly who barely had contact with anyone and if he could. Which brings me to my second theory. The Juggin allows me an extraordinary control of my mind, it is probably due to that, for now it is impossible or very difficult for to feel anger, the channeler of the super scion, but this has an easy solution. I also have another quite solid theory, but, I cannot confirm it yet, in fact, if this were a determining reason I would be very sad. It's a shame, if I had reached the super scion stage I could have beaten Frieza right now. Although I prefer not to do it yet. It would change history too much. Not only the present and the future, also the past. Saving Bardock could be dangerous. I don't know if in this universe that OVA could be canonical or not, other features is that they adapt to power very well and the monkey tail, but for now this is something that I will think later. I can already see my spaceship kid, Broly landed on the hidden side of the almost desert planet, where it was more likely that no one would find the spaceship. Broly made himself comfortable in his house and while watching the planet Vegeta in the distance said. Sorry, guys, but I don't plan to save any of you directly. Officially, I should be a child exiled by the people of my own planet so I have little attachment to you. I don't want to waste my time babysitting Scion boys and girls on my spaceship when I'm only 3 years old I also don't intend to turn this into a rehabilitation center for proud psychopaths who only think about killing and conquering and above all I don't want to become the leader of a nation of brainless monkeys this is my damn adventure and I have many things to do and live. 
I have already taken the trouble to make my lackeys damage the transmitters of several spaceships that will be used for young scions, so they will not receive the message of Frisia to return to the planet Vegeta to die, consider this my last act of gratitude towards the planet Vegeta. I don't know how many will be saved, but surely this will change the saga Z. Broly in his spaceship flew at full speed, and went to some very specific coordinates. Planet Earth has a lot of things to offer me, is the jewel in the crown of all the worlds that exist in this universe. So I have to go as soon as possible, but, first, I have to make another stop Broly, who was still on an intergalactic trip, came out of the jacuzzi. It was a great idea to build this spacecraft, and it was a great idea to also install a jacuzzi in it, this is traveling with style. Jarvis, how long will it take to get to planet XE321F5? Broly said as he walked naked, levitating through the ship. It will take around 20 minutes, I advise you to dress as soon as possible to continue with the plan answered the semi-robot voice. Perfect, I've always wanted to solve this mystery said Broly while bringing his clothes with telekinesis. The planet XE321F5 was a planet with a gravity of X45, due to its high gravity and extreme temperatures the planet was completely desolate and without a trace of life, there were only minerals and desert, and due to the high gravity it did not even serve as a mining colony. It was too much expensive and complicated to extract minerals in those conditions. However, Broly had not come to this planet to train his body due to the powerful gravity, he had not come to collect minerals either. What attracted Broly's attention was another feature of this planet. In one hemisphere of this planet, it was always night, and there was always a full moon. This is the perfect planet to train my Oozuru transformation. My combat power is over 12 million, if by chance I transformed into a crazy and brainless giant monkey multiplying x10 that power on planet earth or anywhere. I'm afraid it would destroy everything. In addition, I have to confirm my theories, said Broly as he watched the planet from his spaceship. Broly made Kid stay flying in the stratosphere of the sunny face of the planet, and he went flying at full speed to the night face of the planet, that way Kid was less likely to end up destroyed. What was the Oozuru transformation? The Oozuru transformation allowed the Scion to transform in a giant, anthropomorphic, monkey-like creature. In order for the transformation to take place, the Scion needs to have a tail, as the glands responsible for initiating the transformation are located exclusively there. The Scion also needs to absorb at least 17 million Xeno units of Blutz waves through the eyes to initiate the transformation. Blutz waves are found only in sunlight reflected by a moon. This transformation increases the total power of the Scion X10. The problem of this transformation is that it is quite limiting in terms of activation and maintenance, it makes you lose your reasoning by becoming an aggressive beast, and by making yourself bigger, it increase the blind spots from which you can be attacked, in addition to losing agility. The advantage is that it allows an increase of base power without spending energy of any kind during the transformation, unlike the Super Scion or Scion God modes. The first thing I have to do is follow the points indicated in the training manual to keep my mind in spite of being transformed. If I follow the training perfectly, I will even be able to speak in that transformation. There is no better planet for it, it is a resistant planet, there is no one around and there is always a full moon in that area, so I can practice continuously. Broly with closed eyes, arrived at the night part of the planet. When he was ready, he opened his three eyes and looked at the moon. Watching her, his eyes turned red, his body began to throb. In a few seconds, his muscles began to expand, and his teeth began to become those of a beast, while his hair grew all over his body. He was becoming a giant beast. In a giant three-eyed monkey that measured more than 15 meters, a height much higher than the usual Oozuru, which used to measure 10 meters. A giant monkey in berserker state that began to hit everything around him and to throw flames of fire through his mouth, which melted mountains of steel. After a few minutes, perhaps due to the teachings of the manual, perhaps due to his innate power of legendary super scion or perhaps due to the great mental control granted by the Juggin, perhaps by the combination of all of them. Broly began to regain control of his mind. Little by little, he calmed down again, no longer moving or frantically attacking his surroundings. He simply watched his transformed body. Perfect, now there will be no danger that I will destroy the earth if I look at the full moon. It has been easy for me to regain control of my mind. I suppose that the greater the combat power at birth, the greater the control over this transformation I think I'm a bit bigger than the normal Oozuru. Is this because I'm the legendary Super Scion? What power? I have more than 120 million units of power, and the amount of my energy reserves have increased in proportion as well. Although the loss of agility and mobility is noticeable. Well, let's proceed, after getting control of your mind, what you should do next is learn to control your body. Broly began to perform the majority of katas he had practiced so far, 
as well as several movements inspired by the battle he had against Beerus. In a few minutes Broly thanks to his great learning speed of the legendary Super Scion he learned how to perfectly adapt those movements to his gigantic stature. Perfect, despite my great stature, which is a drawback for long combats with intelligent adversaries, is still a pretty useful transformation let's continue with my training. He had already managed to control his mind and body, now it was time to adapt to the transformation and untransformation. The transformation into Oozuru was not a rapid transformation, and during his process, the Scions weren't always able to keep his mind under control, not even for Vegeta, as it was very painful due to the increase in the size of the whole body. At the same time, the untransformation was a process that left the user greatly exhausted. The few times that Goku and Gohan two low-class warriors went untransformed they were always unconscious, regardless of the damage suffered or activity performed during the transformation, even Vegeta the most elite warrior after losing his form was completely exhausted. Therefore, Broly although less tired, also had to be exhausted when untransforming. It was obvious that Broly, a perfectionist, would want to eliminate or mitigate the disadvantages that this transformation brought. Broly traveled quickly between the night and day areas. Performing a painful and exhausting cycle respectively in which his body performed several transformations and untransformations per minute. For days, he did nothing but transform and untransform himself, only stopping to do that at the time of eating, bathing and sleeping. It was a tedious, boring and repetitive process, but the results were remarkable. He transformed more quickly without losing consciousness at any time, making the pain of transformation more acceptable, and when untransformed, he didn't feel so exhausted. His body after two weeks had become incredibly accustomed to that transformation. These two weeks have been a damn hell, not as horrible as the training in gravity increase without using energy, but of course much more boring. However, the results have been incredible, I managed to improve the process of transformation and untransformation to quite acceptable levels. It is still not as fast as I would like it to be, and it continues to exhaust more than I would like when untransforming myself, but the result is already very good. And I don't think I can make any quick improvement in this matter. In addition, I'm running out of supplies, and in this crap planet there's not even a bad weed. It is better to go to the next training and leave as soon as possible, Broly traveled to the sunny area of the planet to perform the next phase of his Oozuru training. Broly had already overcome his problem of mental instability, had managed to adapt to his giant body, and had reduced the problems arising from the transformation. Now he only needed to solve one of the last weak points of this transformation. The need for full moon to transform and that the transformation is not optional once the full moon is observed. By combining key with the planet's atmosphere, a sphere of condensed blutz waves is created. Using this, a scion can achieve the great ape transformation even when a full moon is not present. However, this technique has several drawbacks. The science, to be able to transform without the need of a full moon that emits 17 million Xeno units of Blutz waves, had devised a method of creating an artificial moon. This technique very tiring, so it is primarily used as a last resort, and even science that can use it prefer to transform using a planetary body. Vegeta mentioned to Goku that he planned his trip to Earth to coincide with the full moon in an attempt to avoid using the technique. The other problem is that the Powerball needs to be kept in the air and disappears after 90 minutes, ending the transformation. It would only be necessary to destroy the Powerball and the transformation would end, leaving Broly in a state of exhaustion. For these reasons, Broly for months planned a new technique, that is, he was working on this plan before even leaving the planet Vegeta. Since I saw the anime and since I reincarnated, and I could see the Powerball, I've been trying to recreate the idea of the Blutz Wave Generator from Bulma Dragon Ball GT. I don't intend to use the generator, since I don't want to have to rely on a machine to fight, a machine that can be easily destroyed, as happened with Sin Shenron. Thanks to divert a large part of the budget of various institutions of the planet Vegeta and the army of Frisia I got several scientists to correctly analyze what was the exact composition of Blutz waves. Composition that I already know? My theory is that by applying my still imperfect mixture of Nan and Ki I could use the best of the transmutation of both systems to create pure Blutz energies, without the need for atmospheric stimulation. However, this time without creating a sphere. This method spent a lot of energy, since it's necessary to create a ball that autonomously floated and stayed away from the body generating Blutz energies for more than an hour and were not pure Blutz waves, reason why it is so tiring to create that ball, besides the Scion who use this method don't have even 20,000 of combat power. My idea is to inject Blutz waves directly into the pupils of my eyes, that would greatly reduce the energy cost and prevent external actions, like enemies trying to destroy the sphere or blocking the light. 
In the same way that I could be able to create Blutz waves to transform myself, I could also create a way to prevent Blutz waves from reaching my eyes, stopping and preventing the transformation, Broly after two hours, imperfectly combining the key with the nun, taking the key as a base, managed to change the properties of the key in a more efficient way than the normal key, transforming them into Blutz waves. The amount of light waves that are needed to reach the transformation is 17 million Xeno units, but in its first attempt he didn't even create 1000. However, Broly didn't give up and continued to practice tirelessly, drastically reducing his baths and naps, so he could finish his training within a month. After days, Broly, who was in a poor state, managed to reach 17 million Xeno units with his new skill. Broly managed to project that amount of blood waves towards his pupils, and his eyes turned red, transforming for the first time in days. Unlike with Baby or Vegeta in Dragon Ball GT, Broly needed to keep those active blood waves in his eyes to keep the transformation, adding the problem of maintaining that Blutz waves during the fights, something that Broly would work in the future. At the same time, he had also found a way to deflect the Blutz waves that came externally to his eyes, being able to control in this way when and when not to transform. I just need to solve the biggest puzzle I've had since Dragon Ball Super. The existence in the canon universe of the misnamed Transformation Super Scion 4. The Scion up to what has been seen have three evolutionary routes, 1. The Oozuru, transformation that depends on the tail 2. The Super Scion, transformation that depends on the SLs 3. The Scion God, transformation created by using and burning divine energy. The transformation of the Super Scion, at least the ordinary Super Scion, has two perfect transformations and two imperfect transformations. Super Scion Perfect Transformations 1, Super Scion 1. Once the Scion has enough SLs, a feeling such as strong anger or sadness can transform a Scion into a Super Scion. Multiplying his power by X52, Super Scion 2. 1 The Scion in Super Scion form is able to maintain calm during that transformation, once he feels a strong anger can transform into Super Scion 2. Multiplying his power by X100, using all the SLs in the body. Super Scion Imperfect Transformations These techniques are a few imperfect limit breaks, one for Super Scion and the other for Super Scion 2. 1. Super Scion 1-5 It is a forced increase in the power output of the initial Super Scion transformation. Overloading the body of the energy produced by the SLs, a Super Scion is capable of acquiring more power than it is capable of controlling, but as a side effect, the muscles increase, losing a lot of speed, being slower than in the phase of Super Scion, and spending energy very quickly. So it is an imperfect transformation and much weaker than the Super Scion 2 in all aspects, even in the expenditure of energy. 2. Super Scion 3, Transformation Limit Breaker of the Super Scion 2. Once a Super Scion 2 has a control of his power and energy superior to its maximum power and energy, in exchange for an extreme amount of energy, is able to transform in this way. Increasing all its power, understanding that the power contains attack, defense and speed, x400. It is imperfect due to the excessive use of energy means that this transformation can only be used for a few minutes, also lost power progressively during its duration. Now we must ask. How do we explain the appearance and transformations of Super Scion? In that transformations of Super Scion the hair becomes golden blonde in color and seems to stand on end, giving it a rising, flame-like appearance. Natural eye color changes to a greenish blue, muscle tone becomes more defined, and the skin tone, and clothing, becomes lighter, mainly due to the energy and light output of the golden aura. As the natural floodgates of the body are opened with the transformation, excess energy is radiated from the body in the form of a pulsing, flame-like aura. My theory, which explains this physical and power change, is that when the S cells of the Scions are released, they release too much energy, so they overload the body with that energy. Then that surplus and uncontrolled energy begins to be released through the hair so it doesn't harm the body. It is as if the Scions hair were a safety valve that prevents the body from exploding due to an overload of energy, surely the hair of the pure Scion never changes after being born, for something related to this. Because the energy of the S cells is yellow, the hair is that color, and so is the aura that exceeds the body. One of the qualities of the Scion, they are able to adapt their body to power. However, what would happen if more energy were released than can be controlled within the body? An imperfect transformation would take place, like the Super Scion 1.5, in which the body has been overloaded with more energy than the body is able to control, increasing the power and overloading the musculature. A Scion is able to adapt his body to power, that allows it to be transformed into phase 1.5. If another race tried it, surely they would be incapable or their bodies would explode. However, a Scion is able to do this, but his body doesn't adapt perfectly to power, so he loses speed due to excess muscle, 
and maintaining that forced musculature costs too much energy. So what is the Super Scion 3? How can we explain that appearance? The transformation of the Super Scion 3 is similar to 1.5, it consists of releasing energy in the body to increase its power in a way superior to what the body would normally be able to control. However, why not increase the musculature in a brutal way like in Phase 1.5? That's because it doesn't concentrate the energy on the musculature, instead, it is concentrated in the hair. When the scion becomes Super Scion, his hair changes color, and it rises. When it becomes Super Scion 2, his color is more pronounced, and it rises even more, and it gets a little bigger, surely because there is more energy coming to the natural safety valve that is the hair of the scion. Following this theory, the scion has to concentrate a brutal amount of energy from his S cells in his hair. Practically all the energy of the S cells that his body possesses at the same time is to be used in this transformation for a short period. The scion will be able to access all that concentrated energy, concentrated energy that cause all that hair growth, it's as if the safety valve was full and was about to explode. Therefore, he will lose it very quickly, because the hair is a safety valve, and if all that energy is concentrated at that point, it will end very quickly. That is the strength and weakness of the Super Scion 3. It manages to increase its power drastically without affecting its speed, concentrating that energy in the hair and not in the body, but it loses a great amount of energy precisely by concentrating it in the hair. That is why, although it is a great transformation if you want to fight for a short time, it is still an imperfect limit breaker transformation. The eyes don't release energy, they are a manifestation of the inner key. In this case, they are green, very possibly because they represent the unlimited power of the scion, which is the characteristic color of the S cells of the legendary Super Scion, me. With this I would finish my theory of Super Scion transformation triggered by S cells. Then, this is the most powerful transformation route of all, the Scion God, or the Scion Red. This form is achieved through a ritual. The ritual is needed in order to achieve the Super Scion God transformation. It requires five righteous scions to perform and a sixth scion to channel the ritual and key into. In this way, a new energy is created, or better said, the quality of that energy is improved by converting it into divine energy. Every time we see someone with divine energy, we can see as if it were an energy in a liquid state, unlike the normal energy or aura, which seems to be in a gaseous state. It is a higher quality energy, more tangible. By acquiring this energy and making it yours, simply in base state, you can already be infinitely more powerful. That's what happened with Goku, he lost that transformation, but he still had divine energy because he made it his own making it possible to continue fighting against Beerus, despite not being transformed even in Super Scion. So it is partly a transformation and an ascension. The ascension is to get the divine energy, increasing your power even with the appearance of base stage. Transformation consists of burning part of that energy to acquire the aura of the Red God. This aura gives its user more power, regeneration, and protection. During the time the aura is active, no energy is wasted, it is as if the user is resting, which is why he looks thinner because his muscle mass relaxes. Then when that aura of the Red God has dissipated, it will be possible to burn again more divine energy to return to that form. Regarding its red color, represents the fire, an energetic form acquired by burning this energy. What is the Super Scion Blue? It is the combination of the use of the S cells of the normal Super Scion together with the Red God. However, both energies are quite incompatible, since the aura of the Red God is based on control and tranquility, and the Super Scion is anger. So only when you have acquired absolute tranquility in the form of Super Scion, which can rival that of the Red God Scion, this form is achieved. Which will spend a lot of energy until you are synchronized perfectly in the level of tranquility that gives the aura of the Red God and the unleashed force of the transformation of Super Scion. His color is blue, the color that symbolizes tranquility, as well as the color of a flame that burns a lot of oxygen. So, if the Super Scion Blue is the combination of the Red God Aura plus Super Scion, the combination of Red God Aura plus Super Scion 2 and Red God Aura plus Super Scion 3 exists? Yes, it is very likely, in fact. We already saw how Vegeta acquired the transformation Red God Aura plus Super Scion 2 in the Power Tournament, turning a more bluish hair color and with brighter eyes. We only need to see one using the Super Scion 3. Now with the idea of combinations of transformations. We arrived at the Oozuru transformation. The first form of the Oozuru transforms the user into a giant monkey, multiplying its power and energy x10. The next transformation after the Oozuru, would be the famous Golden Oozuru, which would be the transformation that would combine the Oozuru plus Super Scion, multiplying its power and energy x500 following this progression, there should be other combinations of transformations like Golden Oozuru 2. 
the result of the combination between Oozuru plus Super Saiyan 2, multiplying its power and energy x1000. Golden Oozuru 3. The result of the combination between Oozuru plus Super Saiyan 3, multiplying its power and energy x4000. Then, where is the so-called Super Saiyan 4? The Super Saiyan 4 is only a compressed form of the Oozuru Super Saiyan, with a multiplier of 500 plus agility bonus. Why the hair is not golden? Simple, the Saiyan's hair is a safety valve that prevents the body from exploding due to an overload of energy, but, what happens if the body becomes so powerful that it is able to contain that energy without problems? That's what happens in this transformation, to compress the body of a 10 meter beast in a barely 1.8 meters, one gets a body so strong that even being transformed into Super Saiyan. The hair stays dark, the eyes the only ones that show a golden color, due to the phase change. Therefore, it would be possible that by merging the Super Saiyan Phase 2 with the humanoid Oozuru the hair this time would turn golden and the green eyes. In addition, it is likely that if is used the Super Saiyan 3 in conjunction with the humanoid Oozuru the golden hair would grow even more. However, how do you get that humanoid form? The answer cannot be as simple and incomplete as controlling your mind in Oozuru state when you are able to be Super Saiyan. Baby Vegeta controlled his mind perfectly in that state and was not able to transform himself in that way. Vegeta before becoming the so-called Super Saiyan 4, already perfectly mastered the Oozuru, and yet he transformed in Golden Oozuru. So being Super Saiyan is not a requirement to become a humanoid Oozuru Vegeta was also able to master his Oozuru form before transforming into Super Saiyan, and yet he was not able to transform into humanoid Oozuru. Therefore, if this transformation exists, there must be another requirement, a requirement either in the form of power level or emotional. I think that once those conditions have been fulfilled, a scion with a tail would be able to transform into a humanoid Oozuru in a normal Oozuru state, with only a multiplier of x10. First of all, let's stop calling those forms Super Saiyan 4, it's not a progression of evolution that provides the S cells, it's a progression of the Oozuru. Therefore, I Broly the damn legendary Super Saiyan renames this transformation as, True Saiyan equals Humanoid Oozuru. X10 without restriction in speed or agility true Super Saiyan equals Humanoid Oozuru, X500 without restriction in speed or agility, which is known as Super Saiyan 4, true Super Saiyan 2 equals Humanoid Oozuru, X1000 without restriction in speed or agility true Super Saiyan 3 equals Humanoid Oozuru, X4000 without restriction in speed or agility however, this transformation apart from the requirements to become a true Saiyan. I have other questions. What are the limitations of combining the Oozuru transformation with that of the S-Cells? I know about the Divine Energy and S-Cells combination problems, but what happens with the other combination? Will we see a true God Red one day? Will we see a true Super Saiyan God Blue? God? I'm erect by thinking about it, despite I'm just 3 years old. However, the most important. How about the legendary Super Saiyan? Will my evolutionary routes be the same as the standard ones? No. I don't think so, they must be, very different and superior, just like I saw in the trailer. Three days later, on a green planet, with a normal gravity and full of not hostile life, nor intelligent. There was a spaceship, from which small flying robots came and went, bringing food to the spaceship. The spaceship was standing in the air, absorbing water from a lake with a hose, and near that spaceship. A giant monkey in a meditative pose floated just inches from the ground. Due to the tranquility and security that he transmitted, small and harmless animals from the surroundings concentrated around him, since they felt safe from the attacks of predators. That giant monkey was Broly, who was trying to find a way to transform into true Scion while the spaceship was supplied with food and water. I have tried for days to become a Super Scion, but there is no progress. I begin to believe that this can be due to my third theory. Maybe, the tail makes the transformation in Super Scion more difficult, or it has some incompatible with the S-Cells. The hybrids between Scion and Earthlings have an absurd advantage. They inherit their parents' S-cells, as we could see with Trunks and Goten in addition, part of their fighting power, as we can see with Trunks and Goten and Pan of Dragon Ball Super, which seems to have inherited the mystical mode from Gohan, and a lot of his power. It gives me chills thinking how strong Bra could be. It is as if the hybrids between Scion and Earthlings follow the evolutionary theory of Lamarck and not the Darwin one. Gohan was born with a tail, Although Goku for his lifestyle had to have enough S-cells when he got it, he hadn't woken them up yet. However, the children of Scions who were born from parents who had woken up their Super Scion, were born without a tail, and that made them transform very easily into Super Scion maybe because those S-cells so active and awaked, prevented the growth of the tail in addition, 
the scions of Universe 6 are very pacific, and had no tail, and it was extremely easy for them to become Super Scion. But how did they not have information about that transformation? That didn't make sense. I don't know, but it may be related. No, 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 no. Maybe the tail makes the Super Scion transformation more difficult, but not impossible, I'm not going to give up. The first Super Scion apparition that was seen was a golden monkey, even in Dragon Ball Heroes we saw an evil Scion capable of transforming into Golden Oozuru, and Yamoshi also had a tail and could be transformed at first in Super Scion. I'm not going to give up my X10 multiplier, nor my Ovaries Breaker appearance, Broly had left the planet XE321F5 for several reasons. 1. He needed supplies for his trip too. He was tired of desolate and ugly planets 3. Furthermore, he was looking for a place that could give him a great peace of mind. Broly was convinced that the key to becoming a true scion was a state of extreme tranquility, similar to that of completely emptying the mind in Buddhist histories. Broly tried to empty his mind as much as possible, but, it was impossible, he was not able to empty his mind no matter how hard he tried. He kept having thoughts of all kinds. Even when he didn't think about anything, he thought that he didn't have to think, he even celebrated in his thoughts that he had stopped thinking, something quite paradoxical. This is crap. I cannot help thinking. As this continues in the future, it will be impossible for me to master the Megat no Goki, Broly didn't get any apparent results, and he began to get impatient since he had reached this universe. This could be considered as his first great defeat, not counting the fight against Beerus, which was lost in advance, Broly in his Oozuru form, frustrated and with nothing to do for the moment, began to hum while waiting his spaceship to be ready. Tan tan, ta 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 tan 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 tan, tan tan, ta 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 tan 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 tan, ta ta tan tan ta tan. You can say what you want about that sequel, that it was full of errors, inconsistencies, that everyone had become useless or stupid, mmm okay, they may be right about that. However, the opening is beautiful Broly said as tears fell from his eyes, remembering perhaps one of the most beautiful anime openings ever. While that beautiful music played in his head, he began to remember events of many years ago. It was as if he were going back to his childhood in one of the most endearing moments of his life. He remembered, when he was a child, stuck to the TV watching the adventures of Goku. It was the first anime that saw the first anime that made him laugh, cry, get excited, learn, that made him love those characters, which grew with him during his childhood to adolescence and maturity. Dragon Ball for him was not just an anime, it was an anime that made him love anime, and somehow change his life. It was a very important part of his life, and now he was in that world. Remembering all those fond memories, his mind and heart were filled with melancholy and joy then. During that flashback loaded with sentimentality, something impressive happened. He felt as if the small animals that were resting on his body were growing. Therefore, he opened his eyes to see what was happening, and he was very happy the body of the animals that weren't growing, it was his that was shrinking, don't mess with me. If the super scion is obtained by extreme anger, then the true scion must be obtained by the opposite, extreme melancholy and joy for something you care, animals altered by the change of their environment ran quickly through fear. Broly has the same size as before the Oozuru transformation. However, something had changed, his power remained the same as when he transformed into Oozuru, but his energy reserves were far superior. He looked at his arms, which were more muscular and covered with brown fur. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I want to see me, I want to see me, Broly approached the lake where his spaceship was refilling water, and looked at his reflection. He maintained his normal stature, but the upper part of his body was somewhat more muscular. Except for his pectorals, the last abdominal, the neck, the head, hands and feet, all his visible body was covered with brown fur, the same color as the Oozuru fur. Yes damn, yes. I came to think that this transformation wasn't possible. I am so happy. Damn that, I'm cool despite still measuring barely a meter. He said, while admiring himself in an extremely narcissistic way, while the animals looked at him as if he were some kind of pervert. With this form and combat power it would be possible to destroy Frisia almost without difficulty, I would surely destroy him considering that I can become stronger in the fight, but. It's not completely sure yet. If they cut my tail I would lose this transformation, even if it grew back after 6 months, I would lose the fight if I can become Super Scion like Goku. He also could destroy the planet and run away, which I don't, and if he destroys my kid I'm cooked. It is better not to rush, although I want to fight against someone strong to improve. I cannot risk myself stupidly. I'm young, and there's still too many years left for the Dragon Ball saga to begin, much more needed for the Z. All in due time, for now let's go to my new planet said Broly while caressing the coat of his arms. 
739 I another planet on a small abandoned island in which only lived an old man, a teenager and a strange man who behaved and dressed like a power ranger with low IQ. It doesn't look like anything is approaching this planet, maybe you missed it. Asked the old man to the strange person, I'm a super elite. I never miss anything answered that strange person. Looks like the projectile failed to land on this planet, said the old man looking at the sky, rejoice. The crisis of this planet has been avoided said relieve the strange person for real? Lucky us. Then, can you give me a ride on your spaceship to Kiwi Island? The teenage girl said cheerfully. You're using the galactic patrol like a taxi the strange person answered indignantly hey, you can fly that thing, thanks to me, remember said the teenager arrogantly. Okay, I'll go too said the old man the three inside the spaceship continued with the conversation. By the way, Jocko, what are these brutal aliens like? Asked the teenage girl, their main motive is to take over the planet? But the worst thing is that they are an evil race that love her to fight. Even the galactic patrol are no match for them, and the extinction bomb has no effect on them either. If the planet is ruled by a powerless race like this earth, they will usually send a small child to slowly do away with the people on that planet. They have a very long childhood, so they can deceive the people around them as a child until they grow up. After that, their body will quickly grow into a size that is suited to fight, and they will continue to create havoc without hardly ever aging. Apart from the fact that they have a tail, they look very similar to earthlings too, said Jocko while driving his spaceship. Hmm, sounds horrifying, what's that alien race called? Asked the teenager the science of planet Vegeta Jocko answered with some fear however, before the teenage girl and the old man could express their words of amazement. Something appeared in their vision field. Jocko, is that a spaceship? Are they friends of yours who have come to rescue you? The girl asked. I don't know tights, I had never seen that model, and I don't see any identification of the association to which it belongs Jocko answered, could it be that scion you talked about? The old man asked. I don't think that Amori, they use some small, spherical spaceships, it must be another alien I just sent him a message in the intergalactic language, telling him to land on the island replied Jocko. MMMM it seems that he's following your instructions Jocko, in the end it will be true that the galactic patrol exists and has some authority Tite said. Jocko, indignant, replied, shameless, of course it exists, and of course it has authority in the universe, and of course that alien would follow my orders. I am the elite after all yes, yes, whatever you say, let's go down, I want to see what the other aliens are like said Tite's pointing the direction of the spaceship I repeat that I am an elite patrolman of the galactic patrol, not your driver Jocko answered indignantly once more. Jocko, Tites and Amori landed next to the great crystalline spaceship, from which nobody had come out yet. I don't think it's someone dangerous, usually when an evil guy sees the galactic patrol runs away, unless. Jocko answered. Unless, what? Asked Tites unless he is very strong or dangerous, he would have attacked me Jocko answered Amori and Tites looked at each other with little encouragement, they did not know whether to laugh or cry. Then the three again became alert. The hatch of the spaceship began to open, and a little figure appeared from it. He was a boy barely over three feet tall. He had a humanoid aspect, very similar to that of an earthling. Oh, he's just a little boy, said Tights, somewhat disappointed. That was something that somehow disappointed Tights, who expected to find an alien with a bizarre appearance, totally away from the human one. However, immediately they noticed a certain detail that that child had in his forehead. Jocko, how is called the race of human-like aliens with three eyes? Amori asked, quite intrigued I don't know, I cannot know all the races of the universe, there are too many Jocko answered without caring about his ignorance, until he saw something that shocked him. Go back. Jocko screamed suddenly Tights and Amori were surprised by Jaco's sudden reaction, but both were very intelligent and understood what was happening. That child was dangerous. What's up Jocko? Asked Tights, it's him, it's the evil scion, Jocko said as he pointed to what looked like a belt that encircled that child's waist. That belt moved by itself, that belt turned to be an ape tail. Tights and Amori quickly understood the situation, that strange child was precisely the alien that Jocko was looking for, the reason he had come to Earth. Hello, my name is Broly, nice to meet you said the young scion, as if the situation was not with him. 739 years, a few hours before. Broly in his beautiful spaceship sat quietly to observe the space landscape while meditating quietly in his true scion form and expanding his N as much as possible. An N that measured more than one light year in diameter. While Kid was still traveling at a high speed, Broly's N came into contact with the planet he was heading to. Planet Earth in Broly's N, apart from Planet Earth, he also caught something else that was directly approaching the planet. It was a small spacecraft with a spherical shape and inside it was a small child asleep, a boy of barely three years old with an armor of Frisia's army with a tail. 
He was Kakarot that we would later be known as Son Goku. The freaking protagonist of Dragon Ball and possibly one of the most famous and beloved characters in history. Broly observing all the earth and surroundings was able to observe how Goku's spaceship reached the planet, how it crashed near Gohan's house and how he picked it up and adopted him. At the same time, he was also able to see another important point in the story. The meeting of Jocko, the useless galactic patrolman, who came to Earth to eliminate Goku, the evil scion from the planet Vegeta Tights, Bulma's older sister. The one that threw Jocko into the water at the exact moment that Goku's spaceship appeared in the sky. Thus, it saved Goku's life from dying at the hands of Jocko. Finally, yet importantly, Dr. Amori the one that created a machine capable of stopping time, which laid the foundations of the time machine that Bulma would create in an alternative future. I didn't expect to arrive this day. If my calculations don't fail, I should reach the ground right then. I wanted to go unnoticed for now, but, what the hell? This can be fun, and I doubt that the future will change much. If I regret, I can always erase their memories said Broly as he transformed. 739 years now hello, my name is Broly, nice to meet you the three were baffled, with the information they all had about the science no one would expect such a positive and friendly attitude from him. Tights and Amori looked at Jocko, who had also been surprised, but immediately played his role again. Jocko confidently said, I was waiting for you, evil scion. Did you think you could hide from me, the peacekeeper of the galaxy, the chosen super elite galactic patrolman Jocko? Jocko said, making his usual stance. Although internally he was thinking. I thank the heavens that he is a child. If he were an adult I would have to run for my life, Broly sarcastically replied, this, of all that you just said was your name? Then he turned to Tights and Amori who were hiding behind a rock and asked them is your friend always so weird? Tights and Amori nodded unconsciously and asked Jocko. Jocko? Are you sure this is the brutal, evil alien you told us about? It doesn't seem very hostile, he seems quite nice, in fact, more friendly than your Jocko somewhat offended by those last words said don't be fooled by his appearance, the Scions are a brutal race, they only love blood and destruction, if I leave him alive in a few years the entire human race will be finished. You're lucky that I, the peacekeeper of the galaxy the chosen super elite galactic patrolman Jocko, is here expressly to finish him off said Jocko doing if typical pose, one more time then Broly melodramatically said you're a disgusting racist. Just because a few thousand Scion do that, doesn't mean we're all the same. I only come here to improve my life and to look for a job, I don't want to cause any harm to anyone, and I'm not a criminal for it. You are a fascist. No one expected words like those, which caught everyone by surprise. Especially Jocko stuck in his position, he felt the bad person in the movie right now. Eh what? I am what? Said Jocko, feeling aggravated. Broly continuing with his melodramatic attitude said I said that you're a racist. You know, there are only two things that I hate in this universe. People who are intolerant with other races and cultures. And the freaking frost demons, that race should be exterminated from the universe. Ha 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 he laughed loudly they were petrified, they didn't understand that little strange child pretended. At first, he was an abominable and destructive being, but he presented himself in a very curt manner, then he seemed offended, and now he was, joking? They didn't know very well how to react. Come on, haven't you caught it? That joke was good. Well, I guess if you don't know the cold demons, and without having seen Austin Powers 3. It's not so funny said Broly scratching his head Jocko, feeling insulted, adopted a strange combat pose and said enough of the nonsense, I have to finish this mission, repair my spaceship and return home. I don't plan to have mercy, even if you are a child. Wah, he shouted as he rushed at Broly doing a flying kick. However, when he was a few inches away from him, he felt as if he had frozen in the air. Broly was using his telekinesis against him. What happens? It's you? Let me go, do not you know who I am? I'm... Ahhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhh
so it was impossible to have a pleasant conversation Broly replied, imitating tights with the stick. So, you didn't come here to kill us asked Amori, who still believed a little in Jaco's words. No. I just want to live in a quiet and beautiful place like this planet. I have no reason to lie to you Broly replied as he continued to jab Jaco with the stick. Broly tights and Amori continued talking for a few minutes. During that time, Broly told them that he had nowhere to return, and that he wanted to leave his ship on a desert island of the many that had, and live quietly. Tights, as usual in his family, offered to stay with her, but Broly rejected it saying he didn't want to be a hindrance, but promised to visit them some day. After they gave him some advice about life on earth and how he should behave, Broly said goodbye to them. Nice to meet you, Tights and Amori. I'm sure we'll meet again, enjoy the rest of the day, I have things to do for now goodbye, see you soon said Amori and Tights, greeting him ha ha ha, this has been fun, and also quite productive too Broly was not just talking and having a little fun, during the time he was having fun teasing Jocko. He also sent from his ship some small robots that were in charge of hacking Jaco's spaceship. Those robots were trying to find all kinds of useful information about the universe and the galactic patrol. He also installed a locator to find his headquarters in case he didn't find such information later and sent several scanner robots, which were in charge of investigating Dr. Amori's time machine. I talked to someone. I hadn't talked to anyone for weeks. I laughed a little. I miss King Vegeta, he was so funny. I have established a possible connection with Capsule Corp in case I cannot carry out my plans by myself. I have obtained more information about the universe, in the event that it is not possible for me to do what I have planned. In addition, I have obtained the formula to stop the time. Not bad considering that I just arrived on the planet ha 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 ha. Well, I'm going to look for some island where to leave kid for now. Then, I have to pay a visit to a certain snoop, in a place in the sky of planet Earth, beyond the clouds. There was a strange floating circular structure, and on its surface, there were two strange beings. One of them was looking down quite worried, meanwhile the other approached him, noticing that something was happening. What happens Kamisama, something bad has happened on Earth? Is it about that mysterious person who arrived a few days ago from space? No, Mr. Popo, it's not about him although that person has caused some problems, he also managed to solve some others, because of his actions and conversations, he doesn't seem that he came to Earth with bad intentions, rather it is quite the opposite, apparently he has come to save us from a threat in addition, his power is quite similar to mine, we can stop him if he turned out to be a threat. The problem is what just arrived now said Kami, while still watching the arrival of the mysterious alien. Mr. Popo worried and asked, is he an evil person? I don't know yet. I don't notice an evil aura of him. However, by the conversation of that strange person, it seems that he doesn't come to her with good intentions, and that he belongs to a very violent race, although he doesn't appear it, he has a very calm heart. However, I notice he has only shown a fraction of his power, but that small fraction is thousands of times greater than your strength, Mr. Popo. There is no one or anything in this world that can stop him if he wants to do some evil thing Mr. Popo, who understood how terrible and uncertain the situation was, asked what should we do Kamisama? There is nothing we can do. The only thing we can do now is pray, Mr. Popo. Pray that he really does not have bad intentions and didn't want the destruction of our planet, just like that strange person says. At least, I hope he doesn't destroy the earth completely and that he doesn't find our location. If not, it will be impossible to bring anyone back to life with the Dragon Balls, and I will have failed in my mission of Kamisama. Because this time there is no one who can stop him as happened with Great Demon King Piccolo centuries ago, Popo with cold sweat on his dark face continued looking at Kamisama, which didn't take his eyes off the little alien with three eyes and monkey tail. Until. Ah ah and oh oh that cannot be? Impossible. Screamed Kamisama Mr. Popo incredibly terrified, worried and alerted by Kamisama's reaction, asked what happened Kamisama? Kamisama fell back in his tracks because of fear and said, he, has seen me and, he's coming here. A few minutes before, Broly and his spaceship had moved away from Tights, Amori and the annoying Jacos. According to the manga, after this scene, although I don't know exactly when, the whole underwear family will show on the island. It is better that they don't see me for now, Broly had found a large desert island, there were too many on that planet. Then left the ship hidden among the trees. Well, time to pay a visit, Broly didn't even need to use his and to know that since he arrived at Earth and unleashed part of his strength to subdue Jocko. Kamisama had already known about his existence and was spying on him. Broly who already knew the location of the Kamisama temple, and knew he was him in the same moment, he looked at the sky and waved his hand. Hello, now I come. I'm there in a few seconds Broly unleashed his energy and at a great speed flew towards Kamisama temple in the few seconds that the trip lasted, 
He laughed a lot with the reaction Kami and Popo had, ha 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 I scared them Kami in particular is greener than usual ha ha ha. At the end of Corinne Tower, Corinne was sleeping peacefully like a good fat cat. When suddenly. Boom. A supersonic sound exploded very close to where he was, as if a very fast object had passed nearby. Ahh what happens? Has anything just come up at full speed to Kamisama Temple? I hope it's not something serious, that guy has immense power Corinne said as he rubbed his eyes. Broly arrived at Kamisama Temple. In that place were Mr. Popo and Kamisama, who with cold sweat looked at the small figure that appeared before him. They wanted to tell him something, but, they did not know how to start the conversation. They were too shocked and intimidated by the great power that the three-eyed being had. Broly realizing that neither of them could say a word because of how tense the situation had become, he started, Hello, good morning, my name is Broly, I'm three years old, and I'm new on this planet. I have been listening to your conversation, and you don't have to worry about Kami and Mr. Popo, I will behave very well Mr. Popo and Kami were relieved by his words, from this distance they could feel that Broly really didn't want to harm either to the earth or to the people who inhabited it. However, they also felt extremely worried about how old he said he was. Kami tried to recover from the great impression he had accused him and asked, Hello Broly, I see that you already know our identities. I am Kami, the guardian of this planet, and he is Mr. Popo, my assistant. Nice to meet you, can I ask you a question? Broly casually replied of course, as long as you answer me later another two Kamisama who did not want to refuse the offer asked you're a very young boy, but at the same time you're immensely powerful, tell me. Are everyone outside this planet as strong as you, and how are they compared to us? He, being a planetary deity and being able to travel to the other world with the Kai, Kai, knew the scales of divinity above him, and also in a certain way his levels of power, but only that. However, he didn't know how strong the beings of space were, and precisely because of what he had seen in the last few days, they knew the planet Earth, and they were very powerful. No, not everyone is as strong as me, however, for now there are few people much stronger than me, and luckily or unluckily most are not good people. As for the Earthlings? Although from what I can see, you have some very advanced and interesting combat and magic techniques. Your combat strength is ridiculously low, surely that's why you have learned to take advantage of the slightest trace of energy from your bodies that you created so many efficient and fine techniques and combat methods. However, there are weak children on my home planet who are born with more strength than your Kamisama. Your combat level numerically could be 200 and Mr. Popo's is 1030. There are organizations that only accept people with a combat power over 500, and even then they are considered trash in the organization as there are thousands and thousands from them. Mine is over 13 million, but I doubt there are many people my age as strong as me now, don't worry. Do you find my answer satisfactory? Broly said, wanting to really explain what the situation was. Kami and Popo, were pale understanding how insignificant they were and how helpless they were before any kind of external threat, they didn't know very well how to react or what to do. And that concludes this episode. If you enjoyed it, I'd seriously love it if you guys could leave a like on the video as it genuinely helps out so much, and it keeps me going, plus it takes only one second. That said, have a wonderful day. See you in the next one.